No. Hello, yes. everybody. Nye. It is a leap day, so you know what that means. We're playing it's the game. The only, this is the only day you will ever see Kazard stream on February 29th, probably. Oh, I mean, it'll be I was... at least four more years until the well, next I mean, time. Like, the odds, the odds of it also happening on a day Cassard streams is is the other thing. Like it happens once every four well, years. Well, now he might go out of his way in four years this to do it. This isn't what Cassard yeah. meant. <laughs> Obviously, when he said it's a leap day, you know what that means. He meant we're gonna play a game about a cripple. <laughs> exactly. We're gonna play a game about someone who can't leap. This is. I, I thought you were leaning into a. Uh, a frog joke, but then I remember that Wani isn't a frog. Wani is a gator. I mean, yeah, I was going to go for the cripple joke, but I was also going to say, uh, isn't it funny how people born today age four times slower than everyone else? Yeah. Fucking immortals. Uh, Final Fantasy VII. Oh, yeah, so... Uh, oh, yeah, so it, came, it give, came Give out some with, time for people to hop into the chat. Hinkle, you said you want to talk about something with Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, so, uh, like, the week before Final the Rebirth came out, which I've not played and I've not watched yet either, uh, I plan on watching it, not actually playing it. Yeah. At least not... I, I'm not going to buy any of it until the, it, the full experience is released. Yeah, the uh, inevitable super pack with all five games yeah. they have planned. I'm sure it'll come out in 2030. Yeah, like 10 Wait, years five, now, yeah. five games. Yeah, they said they were going to split it into five parts, if I remember correctly. I thought it was Maybe supposed it was to be three. I, I, I thought mean, I remember It's the game five. that just uh, keeps growing. I think one, three is still the plan. Game one went like a third of the way through disc one of three. So if they're planning on doing <laughs> only three games, I'm confused. Game I'm two is getting to the end of disc one. Right. So. Oh, hey, thanks for the subscription, Lord Meep. Enjoy your sweet I'm, emotes. I'm just generally curious what the big stupid Nomura twist this time will be. So, yeah. Oh, hey, hey. La that there Laxley, is no uh, twist. <laughs> want to say hey? Okay. Hey, how you doing? Thanks for stopping in, even if it won't be for long. Uh, and Shima Callard beat you uh, in the speed run. He said Cloaca the second the stream started. Well, it doesn't, I, ca it doesn't count if you say yeah, it in chat. Anyone could just say clo Cloaca in chat. Well, yeah, it didn't but now we said it. Well, see, he was fishing for that. <laughs> Good old Chloe. I wasn't fishing. going to mention it because it wasn't organic. I wonder if there could be a student named Unlike Miss Chloe Aka. Is. Miss Aka, first name Chloe. Chloe. <laughs> Chloe Aka. Anyway, yeah, what anyway. I was going to say about Final Fantasy. Uh, in the week before Rebirth came out, they released a update to Final Fantasy VII Remake uh, that seemed to be mostly story up like updating small aspects of the story i imagine a lot of it is mostly just to keep consistent with what they ended up retroactively making like for example in the flashbacks of when cloud has his flashbacks of the nibelheim incident uh you see tiffa wearing basically the same outfit she always wears but I assume because we're going to see more of that incident in Rebirth, they updated it and now her outfit is different in the flashbacks, which could just be yeah, them being retroactively consistent or it is incredibly in keeping with the story that Cloud's memories are somehow changing. Like they're actually they're actually playing this the meta angle where they go back <laughs> and release updates to change the game. It's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's always been like that. What are you saying? It reminds <laughs> yeah, me of like, there's this uh, gas player. This, this, you guys, that's did you guys what happened read, to Cloud. Did, did you guys uh, read 8-bit theater by any chance? No. Okay, so 8-Bit Theater, it's this Final Fantasy, it's this comedy comic that uses Final Fantasy 1 sprites, and there's a joke in it at one point where uh, they get the, they, it basically follows the story of Final Fantasy 1, and they get their class upgrades, and Thief upgrades to a ninja, and he's wearing red when he first updates, uh, when he first upgrades, and they ask, what kind of ninja wears red? And in the very next panel, the very next uh, scene, rather, the next chapter that's unleashed, uh, he's in black. Now now Thief is wearing black ninja oh, clothes. See you, saying, Laxria. Yeah, and so they say, hey, hold on a second, were you wearing red a second ago? What? No, what kind of ninja wears red? And then the guy actually went back and retroactively updated every single panel that ever had a red ninja in it into a black ninja throughout the entire comic. <laughs> and by this point, it was like 600 pages long, and the red ninja sprite had been used a number of times. He went back and changed them all, just so that way uh, Thief's thing could make sense. <laughs> 
So it's like it's like that only with a with a with a five hundred million dollar game. I I, I yes. love just going next level and messing with people like that. What? Because another thing they changed. Uh, I want to see if I can find the line. I won't make people sit here waiting for it. But there's a line around the end of the game that they changed that Arif said, where she looks up at the sky and like originally she just said like, oh yeah, I remember this sky, and they changed it to like, I've always hated this sky. Uh, something along those lines. And I remember chocolate. What a, <laughs> I always hated it. What a weird thing for them to change. Yeah, it's just very specific. It's hey, just, I mean, I don't. Hey, Pixel, Fab, and Yo Duppy. Like, I appreciate what they're trying to do with making you know meta changes so that way it fits with the meta narrative. But I generally don't like going back and changing your story or changing your things, just yeah. like erasing well, what you had well, originally put out there. See, there, right, so the there is that, I've... but the fact that you know the past, uh, we have a unreliable narrator for the past with Cloud, kind of yeah. makes gives it like a it's... really good reason. And I'm sure that's very clever, Mr. Kojima. I'll be sure to hand you your Game of the Year award next year. But in <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just that I it's it, it's Man, it's frustrating Kojima's not so knowing what's been changed. getting credits for other people now. Yeah, but Kojima. Yeah. Ko Ko Damn, Kojima is so Kojima. transcendental. <laughs> Kojima is so transcendental. All this meta shit transcends his games. <laughs> the other so the chocolates. original the the line was, <laughs> "I miss it, the steel sky," and now. She says in the ending, this sky dot dot dot, I don't like it. Oh, and that does seem like a weird thing to change because I haven't, I still need to play Final Fantasy VII, but the steel sky refers, she used to live in an enclosed space. Yeah, yeah under, now the, she's yeah. under Duly under, noted there, Sergeant. Oh, f hey, first time chat, Sergeant Dirty Bush 4K, I'm about to blow. Great credit there. Oh, yeah. I hey, just, I, I wonder what he's. I wonder what he's hiding in that bush. It's so dirty. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Pixel. We are talking about Final Fantasy VII remake. Well, Final That's Fantasy VII remake. Yeah. I, I, I need to. I, I, it, it'll it'll be quite a while before I get into those. I, I haven't seen anything controversial pop up. Like I haven't seen any webums of Aerith being killed or Tifa being killed well, it, or Cloud being killed. It just came killed. out today. So. Oh, I mean, those 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 come out fast. I would ex I would have expected to see like webs of it. Oh, hey, already, thanks for the yeah. sub, broken table. But, uh, I mean, you, you should have saved like that money to, fi to fix that. Well, hold on a second. Let me go on to V right now and see if anyone's. Nope, I don't see anything controversial on the front page. Usually, people that get it early will immediately stream uh, the yeah. ending just for the yeah. sake of trolling people who play. Yeah, who, again, who though, it'll take like 50 hours to get Stream there. keeps stuttering. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Callard. Hopefully, uh, Twitch gives better settings or something. Well, I assume the people that do that hack the game so that they just immediately see the ending. I don't think games are that easily hackable. I mean, it's a PlayStation 5 exclusive, so maybe it's a little tougher. Yes, the unbreakable security of the PlayStation 5. <laughs> See, I see, I now I don't know if something happened with the PlayStation Five. <laughs> I think well, there was. Wasn't not there, wasn't, wasn't there a four. leak last year or two years ago with Sony releasing like a bunch of passwords or something? Wasn't that Sony? I, I thought that was a few years ago with like the three or four. PlayStation Four, yeah, because PlayStation Four's online was free, and surprise, surprise, you can't afford good security when you're not getting any money, <laughs> and so they got hacked twice. <laughs> so twice, so, like thousands of credit card informations got stolen. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah that, that's what I thought. I wasn't sure. I thought it happened within the. Well, I mean, two to three years ago, that would be within the PS5's lifespan. It's been out for almost four I, years. I'm pretty sure it was PS4. I'm pretty sure because I remember like when they were announcing PS5. I'm like, yeah, you're gonna have to pay for this. People are like, oh, this is bullshit. Like, yeah, you're paying for security. Where we ended what if last time. What if, what if what if I want my credit card stolen? What if I want to help underprivileged thieves? You're weird. Why are you doing this? <laughs> I, 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 my bike got stolen, and that made me pretty bummed. But then I thought about how the net worth in the world probably increased because the people who stole my credit card was happier than I was sad about it. So, <laughs> you whatever. Considering you're just a cuck. <laughs> <laughs> Where we ended yeah, last. What you're saying is cucking is morally right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm proud to be a cuck. <laughs> all right guys make sure to clip that and show it to him every time uh let's see where we left last time uh dang actually i think it was after 
Oh yeah, after why is, the why uh, is it September fourth again? Why are we? Yeah, obviously we over? left off on September. 4th. I hit new game, not load. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> I keep doing that every single time. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I also saw the I saw the uh, image you just made of Iaticon, and I appreciate that. That's perfect. Yeah, it was like I like that. Okay, so we left off at the end of art class. Uh, and no, no fires started. Uh, oh, you're using airport Wi-Fi. Okay, that would explain it. Bing bong. Never played either Final Fantasy VII. I just know that Chris O'Neill and other people don't like it for padding and changing the story. I mean, I feel like... I mean, no, after I'm seeing... I'm 100%. I... Uh, I was going to say, after seeing their, the pre-interview when uh, I saw the movie last week, uh, it's, it's, it's clear their intention was never to just remake the game. It's like a new like continuation yeah some for because they said every piece of file fantasy 7 media is one universe so there's some clear uh like alternate path loop it's, going on so when they the, the all they said when they first announced they were making they were they announced they were going to make a final fantasy 7 hd remake the, the implication there being they're going to make Final Fantasy VII, but in HD. Yeah. And then we heard nothing for like five years, and they're like, look what we did! It's not at all what we said! <laughs> and you know what? It's fine and cool, but boy, I wish that at some point we got an HD remake of Final uh, Fantasy VII. Just, I just like... remake... This is the thing about remakes, just remake the game, because uh, it's very it's, rarely... Um... My, uh, you my, have anywhere to go but up yeah i mean my stance on that is always well if it's just in better graphics i don't care as much i'll just play the original game because yeah, I, I don't care because like, graphics has never been too much appeal for me so if you're gonna do something doing something new kind of works but it's also i hope you have a good like, reason for doing that and like, not just doing it for the sake of doing it i get I what I, you're saying sorry okay shigoshima Okay, I was just going to say, generally, I support remakes for games that absolutely need an update. Like, Zero Mission is one of my favorite remakes ever because the original Metroid has aged pretty poorly. And Zero Mission plays a lot like, you know, like, really good Metroid games like Super Metroid. And I oh, think Zero hey, Mission thanks like, for the sub, yo, Duppy. And there's the so, sub goal reached. So like, if, the if the original is really outdated, okay, I, I could do with a remake. I'm trying to think if there's any other particular examples besides Zero ooh, Mission ooh, that come to mind ooh, where ooh. I think the remake completely outmodes the original but nothing else is springing to mind while i think on it what were you gonna say hinkle i was gonna say i get what you're saying about like why you know th that graphics are not that important but it does immerse you in a story more when rather than having polygonal things that are vaguely humanoid you have actual humans on the screen and at voice acting. I mean, that it, yeah. it can get uh, you, it'll definitely get you into the story that, more. That's always one thing that I Wait. thought was funny about Final Fantasy VII is that it has this really epic lore about it. It has all this fan art, all this cool art. And when it's in the battle screen, when it's actually like uh, the battle is actually happening and their models are better, it looks really good. But then They're you still get not the, that much uh, better. And then, I, and then you're going around the screen, and uh, Cloud and all of his friends look like tiny midgets with really, really low uh, polygon faces just waddling around. Uh, no, well, Kazard, okay, to, to this, want... I have to say, uh, imagination skill issue. I don't want to imagine. I want to be immersed. You can use imagination to make you more immersed. If you, that doesn't here's make the sense. thing, I, you will always know that you are playing a game. I, if it's yeah. looking better is directly related to that i it's a little shallow to me that it needs to look better to be better to you <laughs> right. well, i mean it's like the difference between w watching the anime and reading the manga it's not you're not as immersed in a manga it depends on the game i mean See, in chat the we manga got could look a lot better than the anime depending depends... on how well the anime is animated well, see, we got the chat. It depends on the game's atmosphere. Love the graphics for Fallout New Vegas, but hate Oblivion's graphics. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I love Oblivion's graphics. Definitely what there was the, a lot of the bloom to Oblivion. Universe I, is definitely affects I, I things. It. 
I, I thought I'm like I think fondly on Oblivion. I definitely it was like my first Elder Scrolls game, and I thought it looked really really good for the time. But looking back on it, I still think it looks good for its time. But the bloom, I think, is what most people I'll are concede. not It's very bloom heavy. Yeah, that's that's like, that's what people think of when they think of Oblivion. Is the bloom was just a little too much. Mm. All right, so it's been 15 minutes, so I think we should move to the game now. Fast well, Final Fantasy. One uh, more thing I was just going to say okay. in celebration <laughs> of the, hitting Inc the sub goal. Inko is just, Inc Inko is oh, just yes, talking they, about video games while Olivia's trying to ignore him. He, 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 <laughs> he's holding the brake on her wheelchair so she can't leave. <laughs> No, yes. no, wait, I have to tell you about which video game remakes are better than others. So, yes, thank you for hitting the sub goal. Congrats, everybody. So, I will... Oh, what was... It, it oh, was we just, did hit our sub goal. It was just 10 subs uh, as the baseline. So, now I'm going to set 20, because that will be the next emote uh, to Hot. be unlocked. Hot damn. Just so sub so goal starting. 10 go? out of 20. Next emote unlocked. Next emote, which would give us two emotes to work with. I was thinking maybe doing a funny thing with Liz crossing over multiple emotes if we get that one. As, oh, that's a fun idea. You know, as as like some that. incentive, if anybody wants some of that. I would I would make two emotes. Just one is Liz's head, and the other is just Liz's neck, and then chat can see how long they can make Liz's neck go. <laughs> that's exactly that's what I was going to play in, just to see how long the snake could go. How would you yeah. define the word famous? Uh, lots of people know you. <laughs> no, let's stay on the topic for four more hours. No more Ronnie stream. It's a Final Fantasy stream now. I would argue. I would define famous as if somebody in the world knows you, and you don't know them or anyone they know, you are famous. You mean more people know you than you know them? Can no. you make animated? If there is one yeah. person in the world who knows you. And you don't know them or anyone they know. You are what famous. It, so, what like, in this obviously, what, what different have, tiers of famous. So, in this what sense, if, people in chat wouldn't count because I know them to a degree because no, I can see no, them. No, they but, would count. But oh, okay. wait, what if you have a what if you have a stalker? Like, what if there's one guy who knows you? You've never met him, but he knows you, and he knows everything about you. you, you it's famous? very, very probable in that situation you know someone else they know. How else did they learn about you? Uh, wait, okay, so I'm missing I, the well, definition. So you're famous if you know... You're not famous if you do know somebody that that person knows. Yeah. So it's, like, extended. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Uh, I, okay, I guess uh, let me. I'll, I'll think if I can I, think of I any definition. I feel like there's probably also a size that. thing. I mean, like, uh, the Wani demo VOD uh, has, like, 75,000 views on YouTube, and that's definitely way more than people I've ever met in my life. So I feel that's, that's a very interesting way of, ter of determining it. But I mean, obviously, there's also, you know, tiers of fame here. Yeah. I mean, like, I would say if the number if the I number am of people Gator who famous. know, I'll take if that. the no if the number of people who know you surpasses Dunbar's number, then you're famous. <laughs> I what like is that. Dunbar's number? Uh, Dunbar's number is a suggested cognitive limit to the number of people with whom can maintain stable social relationships, namely mm -hmm. 150. It's basically a, a social theory that a single person can only maintain relationships with up to 150 people maximum. Okay, well, that means my girlfriend we... is famous because she has more cousins than that. She has more really? than 150 cousins? Yes. Damn, big wow. like first cousins? Like yeah. rabbits. She, <laughs> yeah, she, her father is like number 12 of 12, and her mother is like number 4 of 14. She, Jesus, that's a big family. Yeah, so, and they all had many children. Christmas too. and Thanksgiving like, must be crazy. Like my girlfriend, oh, they obviously is, don't is, like have is, that like full family gatherings. Is is Amanda part rabbit by any chance? <laughs> Maybe. Didn't you get over a million Catholic. views on the changed vods? No, I didn't get over a million views, but they definitely were the highest viewed vods I had for quite a while. Which is funny because I think the most search trend for those was furry apocalypse, which brings up some questions. Oh wait, no, and then one of the. Uh, Senrin, uh, the Senrin Kagura pinball game, one of the VODs on that got a lot of views immediately. Just so happened, one of the girls' name, uh, I forget, but it was the same tag that's for, like, the people that have the kink and women getting beat up. That just happens <laughs> to also be her name, so a lot of people apparently search for that on YouTube, and it just so happened to catch my video, too. 
Wait, it's like a sadism? very strange thing. Wait, hold on, so like the name sadism or no? Like the, it's what? it's like a Japanese term. Oh, Riona, Riona. Yeah, Riona. Okay, yeah, yeah totally. that was one of the characters' names for that uh, I did in that vod because <laughs> there's multiple stories. So because of that, it got like five thousand views in a day in like an hour just wow. because of people searching <laughs> yes. this. I'm like. <laughs> oh okay uh this, this i'm is uncomfortable a, this yes is yes I'm, I'm, I'm very brought up i mean I, it's doing numbers but yes, I'm, I'm very familiar with riona a friend told me all about it i, I very, very familiar yes a friend Th thanks for the follow card afflecto can you make animated emotes yet Yes, because uh, I think Twitch made it so you can have like five or six animated emotes to everybody now baseline. I just need ideas for animated stuff. Your fetish streams get a disturbing amount of views. Yeah, it seems to be anything that touches on that uh, goes real hard to uh, use the phrase. That's I, a fetish. <laughs> does, the ska does, the, does, does, does Wani and Snoot Game as scaly stuff count as a fetish stream? I would say yes. Yes. Definitely outside. Excellent. But anyways, to, to catch on to a question earlier, uh, Laxria said, says they were stopping it real quick. Hope you catch up with the demo today. Been dying to see people go past it. I checked the old VOD. We're about two thirds of the way through the demo. So we'll show Oh, we should be able to we should be able to finish the demo tonight, knock on wood. All right, well, let's go. Let's yeah. go. Look at me go. Bing Look at me go. <laughs> How about Pizza Tower, Olivia animated? Go! Good idea, but I oh. like to, uh, I, I prefer to make my own stuff or make my own ideas. Maybe I could redraw some of them. I would also need to play Pizza Tower first. Anyways, let, let, let's get to the Gator game. Speaking of Pizza Tower, I hope you all have a good lunch now. Go ahead and do whatever it is you do in Pizza Tower, but in the cafeteria. The bell what? rings. And Oli <laughs> Olivia shoves most of the things in her backpack. <laughs> Not caring if her notebook gets crushed. She really think... wants to just get out of here and all the Final Fantasy VII talk. It is driving I her crazy. I wouldn't, played pizza I wouldn't tower know. At all. I wouldn't know. I don't support the video game industry in any form. I didn't even have a PlayStation 1. <laughs> video games are for nerds, especially visual novels. When she zips up, she races out of the classroom desperately. I was a Nintendo girl. I guess she doesn't he want to hear Sega more guy. about... Guess she doesn't want to hear more about my favorite Final Fantasy ships. Video games died when Sega dropped out of the race. <laughs> and she doesn't want to get caught in the Hipster. cast of the Room Stampede. Sega does what Nintendo don't. Sega's a loser. You get an F, double F, triple F even, plus. Or minus, whatever's <laughs> less. 15 F minus. Triple F plus. I managed to avoid getting stuck in the frenzy by shuffling along the wall the long way around the lunchroom. It's a bit longer, but at least there's less risk of getting used as an improvised meat club. Well oh, there's a meat club? How do you join that? Uh, you, 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 okay. gotta ri you gotta be a carnivore. You know, it's Well, that's... Omnivores are carnivores, no, technically. No, you, you have to be pure carnivore. That's racist. <laughs> well, it would be dietist, if anything. Ink, ink. <laughs> Inko can enjoy a good meat as much as anybody else. I don't think Inko's going anywhere. He's just spinning in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> he keep, oh, he hey. keeps getting lost. He keeps getting go I've he keeps seen going. He's that green clockwise. guy like five times now. Hey, thanks for stopping in, Nuggy9. Where's where's the first eight of you? <laughs> hey, Kaz and friends, I found you through your Snoop Vods. I wanted to catch the Wani streams. Well, I hope you enjoy. Because we're. Yeah, we could go back to Final Fantasy VII talk if you yeah, want. Yeah, good luck. We're in a meandering mood tonight, so we're, progress we're, is we're, varying. We're getting stunlocked a lot. What are you talking about? It's only been, oh, Jesus Christ, 25 minutes. Yeah, let's get a move on. Hey. I'm not sure what I mentioned that Keller is saying funny. Why, that why don't I just go into the courtyard? It's right there next to the table. You know, I could avoid all this mess. Ah, damn it. For the future, then. Stop spinning in place, you <laughs> weird ass. The colors, they confuse me. Next oh, time. Oh, I see your He's got that disorder. He has trouble remembering take off, people's faces. Take off your sunglasses, Inko. You'll see colors. He finally learned his... prescription. He finally learned to turn his head, and he can't stop. Hey, is, that, is there a palm tree or something by the table now? You put plus right into the console. <laughs> Never seen one with a trunk that's green. I get the last of the, get around the last of the crowd and approach the table. I need to get off the screen. I'm getting <laughs> so dizzy. 
Yeah, that, that now that the stream it works for you guys, you can see all that more clear. Ah, oh, evening, Tenshi. How you doing? Good to see you. I have a headache from that. <laughs> Damien's here, chowing down on a sandwich stacked with various meats, courtesy of the Meat Club. <laughs> and like oh. yesterday, Olivia's already at the table. Oh yeah, one. Th I trust this will be quick. One thing I wanted to mention. I love how much everybody hated the Skibbity Olivia thumbnail. That that just really <laughs> warped my heart. It was a, it was a it was it was a crime warped against his nature. Congratulations. <laughs> By the way, a new Skibbity toilet came out. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's perfect. I can't. I have to catch up on all seventy-five episodes of the epic tale. I, I am glad I could have worsened the world for so many people. Can we do a skibbity toilet stream? No. <laughs> well, it's I'm, not something you stream, it's a thing you watch. I mean, we could yeah, do but, like, like watch it on stream. I mean, we oh, could you mean, do oh, a like reaction stream. They could probably yeah. run into some issues there with copyright. Yeah, it went the music no, I think, itself. I think he, means for, he think he means for a movie night, like when we're watching movies and stuff. No, well, I've been on stream. Yeah, I mean, oh. I think... I mean, there, that a kind lot of runs people. into an issue. Yeah, because so it's, it's like the core music DMCA for it. That might be a thing, yeah. That... There's also the fact that we'd probably be talking over it a lot, rewatching it a lot because we wouldn't be paying attention. Is there a lot but of dialogue? That's what every reaction streamer is, none. though. Yeah, Maybe. but there's also the fact we don't have like a face cam to try and pretend we're doing something here. <laughs> gibbity True, gibbity, we I'm would kind of need face cams. Skibbity dibbity, I'm owning the liberties. <laughs> That, or we'd have to, like, show the Discord screen with, like, our things lighting up. And then we'd have to keep it little on the screen. Nah, see, we'll just react to, uh, skibbity animations. That will avoid copyright. No. <laughs> we'll all make our own little avatars with their heads coming out of toilets. Why don't we just watch, like, <laughs> yeah, public I was domain say, movies? Ma uh, I don't know. Max, uh, Hot Diggity Demon... Uh, I know. Look, I like Max, but he is series, not someone right? to role, be a, to considered a role model. So <laughs> he streamed Skibbity Toilet, and he was fine. I just said what I said, and you're ignoring it. <laughs> well, we'll we'll worry about the Skibbitying in the future. You know, like, everything. I love Max, but if you want to listen to the guy who looks like a skinhead, that's on you. <laughs> yeah, Inko. <laughs> uh, just like nah, how the see, toilet flushes, we'll circle a jacket, back around he's too to fashionable. that. <laughs> hey Damien, have you seen Liz? I thought she was joining us for lunch. I really wanted to talk to more people about my great skibbity art. You know, you know skinheads don't wear jackets. Without a word, Damien points to the palm tree next to us. Uh, oh crap, that's not a tree. Oh god, that's no tree. Holy crap, Lois, this tree is alive. I look up to see Liz's head in the rafters, prodding at the vines on the ceiling. Holy crap, Lois, look, it's Olivia from I Want to Hug That Gator here in our house. Peter, <laughs> the gator is here. The ceiling was a lot lower in the computer lab, so I couldn't tell as easily, but that neck is long. Anyways, that, that, that neck. neck goes for days. <laughs> Anyways, lewd thoughts aside. No, let's bring him back. <laughs> we we knew what we drew on that paper. <laughs> uh, hey, Liz. <laughs> hey, hey, Liz, that neck go all the way up? <laughs> yes. How's the it, weather there up there? There is no end. <laughs> hey, Liz, that it neck goes on for infinity. She is the space elevator. I think she coils it when she sleeps. <laughs> Oh, she definitely doesn't, like, lift it up while she's... Actually, do giraffes sleep upright? One second. She has, like, a harness on the... She has a second bed giraffe. strapped to the ceiling for the head. Well, I mean, a giraffe could, like, lay on its stomach and then just lay its head down forward. <laughs> oh, yeah, they coil their necks when they when they lay down. Hold on a sec, I, I got an what image. What do? Uh, giraffes, and I assume well, they, like, by proxy... Well, they, kind of tuck their head in next to them, basically. Yeah, like, here in, here in VC context, I assume if a giraffe does this, a brachiosaurus probably does the same, is just coiling their neck when they sleep. 
That's oh, got I did, they only have like eight vertebrae, though. How much coiling can they do? There's eight. You gotta remember how long the neck is. That's what I'm saying, though. Even though their neck is that long, there's only like eight vertebrae. They, yeah, so, and there's also a big yeah, amount of sinew the... and like connective tissue in between those vertebrae that are made to stretch. They, they That's the whole problem times. they have is that like the like they can't <laughs> reach the ground with their neck. Yeah, that's cause... why like drinking is such a problem for them. They have to, like, spread their legs super wide. Oh, man. Yeah. Wait, all giraffes have drinking problems? I didn't know alcoholism was so giraffe. rampant in the species. Giraffe. I love giraffes. They are good. Giraffe. You figure for them it's actually not that hard, because it has got to be, like, an hour between when they first swallow it and it reaches their liver. <laughs> an hour? I don't know about an hour. Well, it takes your it takes a human esophagus about twenty minutes for food. No, that's probably not true. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. There is some obs obscure fact about how long it takes food to travel down the esophagus, and I, for some reason, thought I remembered it being twenty minutes, but that doesn't make sense. It would back up too quickly. Yeah, <laughs> you you, literally, it would how be. How would in you your eat? Throat. Yeah, how would you eat? It would back up in your throat. <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking of it takes twenty minutes to go through. I don't know the small intestine or something. You think 9-11 was just someone throwing a paper plane at two brachio necks? <laughs> I love that image. It, it's anyway. the school play every year. So sad. Anyways, uh, this I'll is you, Scruffy. Never Ooh. five get. Right. I'm gonna get a drink of water so real quick. I yeah, remember, I think you had an Australian- you had an mm -hmm. Austra Australian- Austra I'm just trying to find the, the tone. Yeah, a female Australian accent, like the Bobby. Or Sheila. You call her a Sheila if she's a girl. Well, there was a particular one I was channeling, but if... <laughs> there was someone, yeah, there was someone in particular, I'm trying to remember. <clears throat> hey, Inko. Couldn't see you from up here till I heard you. Oh, well, I guess well, I'll yes. go ahead and try to get my food for the vending machines again. Making my way over to the vending machines, I do the same song and dance I did last time. Walking wow, fast. He, what a showman. Walking <laughs> fast. Faces past and he's table bound. And, uh, I'm vending machine bound. <laughs> I am the table. The card swipe and a few button presses later earn me a couple cans of soda, two bags of chips, and a few candy bars. It's like when the teacher asks if you brought enough candy for everyone. Only now it's true. I head back to our table, the bundle of food stuff in my makeshift pouch, and distribute them. Inko, Inko feeding everybody. No one's gonna have to buy for lunch again. It's just a. If he wants his popularity to skyrocket, he just has to keep doing this. <laughs> Olivia gets her share, but she doesn't say anything. Oh, sweet! Thank you, Goofy. <laughs> ah! Why, thank you, Enko. Damien, if you'd be so kind. Already on it. Damien cracks open a can of soda just as Liz lowers her head next to him. She's wearing a novelty soda cap. <laughs> <laughs> he then speaks. Damn, she's number one. She's number one, <laughs> Mr. It was, Krabs. It was her sorry, hat. Sorry, Olivia, she's got the hat. You lose this one. <laughs> It you know, I can't argue. Hat. She's number one waifu. Waifu has number one hat. Yeah, it says right there on her hat. I don't know what else to tell people. Go home. You probably it. have to wear a hat like this. Uh, like, otherwise, it would just be such a fucking hassle to drink. I mean, there's that, but they could also just, you know... Do you, do you think the wa they have water fat straw. is super high up? <laughs> I wonder if she pisses people off when she goes to baseball games or events and she stands there and her head goes all the way up and people yes. for like five, just, yeah, ten Yeah, but you have to realize her neck isn't she... that wide. Well, it's not that wide, leaning. but if you're standing directly behind her, it's like a, it's like it, someone planted it's a tree more. in front of you. I mean, I guess. A very skinny tree, but yeah. Are, they, they could just stay, they, she, they just make the brachio sit behind the bleachers. <laughs> they might enjoy the shade, honestly. <laughs> I, I, I like I like the can tantry, yeah, like you're saying, snoot kissed. Snoot kissed. Oh, I like that is pretty good. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> he then kissed. speed swaps the old can with the new one, almost like he's swapping wheels on a Formula One racer. I should get one of those hats. 
Thank you. No problem. Liz's head cranes back up to the top of the ceiling to continue eating the foliage. It's craning. <laughs> Nico, my cousin. <laughs> you know, so Damien you know, might also you... ask you to go bowling frequently. You want to go bowling frequently? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, occasionally, you know, sure. I don't know about frequently. <laughs> we got to do Not... it every week. Why not now, now Damien? Once a week. Damien, why do you always call me when I'm piloting a helicopter? <laughs> I'm going to go bowling in the helicopter. <laughs> Nico. Nico, my... I can't do a good Goofy. <laughs> I can do it again. I'm becoming a clown, I don't know. <laughs> yuck, <Gorsh>. yuck. <laughs> yuck. <laughs> yuck, Nico. So, Wanna go I'm see some big dino goofy. titties? <laughs> <laughs> so, Nico, how's your day been going so far? Yeah, it's been pretty decent, I'd say. <laughs> you know, I've talked a lot about Final Fantasy. I'm mostly looking forward to photography again. Besides, Ben will show me some good photo spots. Cool, cool. Damien just nods as he continues to munch on his sandwich. I think he's zoned out about halfway through my sentence. He used more than two, one two-syllable word and he's just gone. <laughs> I have roast beef. Oh, and also, Liz helped me submit my contest entry. Did it involve roast beef? <laughs> I, I mean, I, I was thinking of it, but then the contest was at 18+. plus. That's what? foul. <laughs> roast beef. I might be, yeah, I think I'm missing the joke, too. What's the... <laughs> let, let, there, don't uh, worry about it. It's 18 plus roast beef. One second. Murder. I don't care. Anyway, you I'm know, just going to roll on past that is one like Olivia. Here. That's all I'm going to say. Awesome. Can always rely on Liz to help you out. Flattery will get you nowhere, Damien. Oh, it's a euphemism for pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of well, vagina it's being referred specifically, to as um, it is yeah, yeah, it's specifically in regards to a very droopy labia. Yeah, it's uh, Urban Dictionary defines roast beef pussy as a large, dark-lipped pussy that has been overly penetrated, <laughs> resembling the lunch meat. Used in a sentence, your mom has some nasty-ass roast beef pussy. I mean, I just learned it through 4chan, but... That's my first time hearing it. That's surprising. That's old school. Just saying the honest proof and trying to block out these mental images. <laughs> Remember, everybody, you learn something new every day. I say, I'm Damien, sad. you ever heard of a blue waffle? I'm happy every day that <laughs> I have a cloaca. Give, give us a break, everybody. We've established that we're a bunch of 30-year-old boomers here. <laughs> that was, by the way, an organic mention of clo cloaca. Uh, <laughs> how many minutes into the stream? 38. Uh, 30. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. You, you came here, Lord Meep. It's on you. <laughs> <laughs> if we don't curse at least one person every night, uh, am I even a streamer? I already said this line. Oh, okay. Liz intended. Whoa, no. Liz entered the contest too, right? Everyone must be trying to win the cash prize. There's a cash prize? Liz? The money I can't hear you all the way up okay. there. Okay. <laughs> Liz comes it's down like, again it, it, with a mouthful of leaves. Oh, she's she's so far up that it takes the sound of her voice a few seconds to travel down here. That's how far up how far up she is. Dang, this school. Oh, the weather up there. Dang, the school ain't got no tree stars. Aw. Tree stars are now. Nah, that makes me think of Land of Before Time again, and I got sad. Her hands hold up a tray with each segment filled with a different sauce. Clever. Should I do this with my mouth muffled now? Yeah, yeah, do it. <laughs> She's chewing on stuff. You have Shit, to go right. get a bunch of leaves. Australian female accent with mouth muffled. Go. Oh, God. I gotta find something to use for that. Go go outside, pick a bunch of leaves off a tree right now. Are you telling Scruffy to go out and touch grass? <laughs> no, touch <laughs> leaves. 
Uh, uh, all right, hold on a moment. We have you have yet to shake me. I take that as a challenge, Pixel. One of these days. One of these days. Do you have any roast beef? I, I forget what care. <laughs> who is what show is that line from? What? Pow straight to the moon. Oh, the moon. Uh, honeymooners. What is the wife's name? Pow wow straight to the One moon. One of these days, Alice. Blank. One Alice? of these days, Alice. Alice. Uh-huh. Wow, I never knew the first astronauts were so fat. Yep, it's Alice. It's a string, bing, zoom, straight to the moon, Alice. What? I don't know what Scruffy's doing. He, he went outside he's going to, out to he get some out sleeves. Yeah. There's no he's way getting... he actually went outside to get some leaves. <laughs> if he did, that would be amazing. It's authentic. I just hope it's not the wrong, because, I mean, he's a... Uh... Uh, you can go outside and pick some leaves. Those leaves could be toxic. I'm not sure if, uh, yeah. if he knows which ones are, are good to eat or not. Uh, surely no tree leaf is toxic. Well, yeah, eucalyptus is super toxic. Yeah, but I don't think he... Eucalyptus trees are the exactly the most common to get. Well, I have them in my back. I mean, not my backyard because I moved away, but my parents had eucalyptus in their backyard. Oh. It's a it's a it's a fancy tree to import. People like to have it in their back. Like I live in the suburbs, so people like to have big fancy trees like a eucalyptus in their backyard. And I'm sure there's Ruffy other is examples. Being strangled by Agent Forty Seven. <laughs> no one expects Agent Forty Seven. <laughs> well, that's how he stra- the leaves, and he's like, "You want your leaves for your stream? Yeah, they are." And he just fucking <laughs> just that's how he strangles them. Shoves them down, down your throat. Your throat. Uh-huh. Dang, he will be missed. Maximum okay, uh, Scruffy, you, you also, you did, Final in case you're talking, reason. you did mute yourself. I do see it's muted. Boy, it's, this is authentic. I hope he, I hope he, he better have gone out to get leaves for this. No, I got a brownie. Excellent. The pot brownie? No. <laughs> any leaves of any sort baked into as the far brownie? As you know. Just a normal brownie from the fridge. Okay, well, while it lasts, let's do this. Fridge. Interesting. But the real prize... Is having a submission featured on the sponsor's magazine cover and in a featured article. I can't do an accent with a full mouth, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, neither can she, canonically. How is she still articulate? That's impressive. Oh, so she should have, she actually probably would have been understood in her Australian accent otherwise. <laughs> fucked up, boys. Do you, do you have any idea how great that looks on the resume? Heck, I can probably get a scholarship with that alone. Whoa, you really got all this planned out. What did you submit? She takes a moment to swallow her salad and then shares the huge grin. Let's just say it involves roast beef. <laughs> Good gulp. Yeah, yeah cause I actually was swallowing something. <laughs> I submitted my best digital art piece. Now, how long is that gulp gonna last? Uh, just at... we, for the whole see, experience, you, you just see the lump like, the go all look, Yeah, the you just watch up. the fold slowly go down. Okay. Ooh, what is it? It takes a giraffe approximately five yeah. minutes from whatever it swallows to reach its stomach, so for a Brachiosaurus, I would assume 15 to 20 minutes based on the length of their necks. Oh, well, probably... it's probably considerably shorter. Hers isn't that long. I mean, it's yeah, also probably going to tiny... take longer since she's uh, bent down like this. Trey is set aside yeah. so she can bring out her phone to show Damien and me her entry. It looks to be a village townhouse piece. Very rustic I'm and classy. Not... It looks I'm pretty not good. read what Chowler just said. <laughs> uh, Liz's roast beef is as long as her neck. Oh. <laughs> that, that is a foul <laughs> see now the chat curses us the students have become the master it's their stream we're just living in it <laughs> P- poggers 
<laughs> See, there's an emote for you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's so cool. I mean, Body. you already have one, but another wouldn't hurt. <laughs> that looks so realistic. Thanks. Took me about a week to really blend some of the more fanciful elements into each other. I based it off my grandfather's home from the old country. This is this is amazing. You can't even tell this whole thing's digital art at all. There's like these little interstitions where it cuts back to like the Earlier. first frame, there it yeah. says Bing Bong, and it gets me every time. <laughs> <laughs> Damien grabs hold of Liz's phone and turns towards Olivia. Hey, Olivia! She jumps up, having been subtly made relevant to the conversation she was just spectating. How'd she jump? <laughs> oh, I got... Oh, you can... Well, because it's Leap Day. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? I'm not. Brother, this guy <laughs> <laughs> I'm not giving these chips back. They're mine. I wasn't listening, by the way. <laughs> what? She has her priorities. I love. I love both of them. Just got really disappointed at that. Oh, <laughs> uh, I was just gonna show you Liz's entry. I don't want to see your girlfriend's vagina. <laughs> No, the other entry. <laughs> the other entry, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia narrows her eyes and leads over to see the image on Liz's phone. She then looks up and gives Damien a quick nod before returning to eating her chips. I'm mad because that was clever. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Damien's smile falters a little at her minimal response, though he's back to his usual grin as Liz takes back her phone. Aw, oh, now Liz looks sad. Liz is sad that her uh, photo didn't get the attention. It's a JPEG of a house with the transparency layer visible, but Damien is too dumb to notice. Well, they sure... <laughs> I, I love how you how the old country looks like a checkerboard. <laughs> I didn't know... I didn't even remember the copyright... Oh, uh, fuck, what do they say? Do not use for copyright. The watermark. What the, what, the, water, yeah, the watermark. No, the what does the Getty watermark images? always say? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Getty well, images well Getty is a great town, isn't it? Oh my god, I want to do that as like an art project. Like, take a normal I've never photo heard of photo Getty bucket. <laughs> Where's that? Wow, Liz. I didn't know you were so into digital painting. That looks great. Do you plan on being an artist after graduating? You know, I'm realizing she could, she has to do digital painting because there's no way you can make a canvas uh, tall enough for her head and hands to reach the same spots. Oh, not, what if she painted the Sistine? Not she, if you're not a coward. <laughs> what if she? What if she painted the Sistine Chapel? She just stretches all the way up there what, to the roof. Mouth? Paints, yes. <laughs> you know what? Fair point. Fair play. It, it's like finger painting, but with her snoop. She needs to get, like, that thing Bender had on his neck, where it's just little tiny little arms, and she just wears them near her head. <laughs> That's great. I love that. Painting with her snoot would probably be kind of dangerous, though, if it was, like, uh, paints, and constantly inhaling paints while you're working with them seems kind of dangerous. Yeah, that sure that just makes it more job? fun. What? Make sure you give a neck job. I, uh, I yeah, we, 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 went, we went over this last there week. Has to, to, there has to be job. at least seven images of that existing already. She just wraps her head around and just kind of coils. <laughs> Probably doesn't wrap around too many times, maybe once, twice, maybe, if it's a certainly impressive member. But the point is that it's possible. I could see it. Dep depends, like on the it's like... depends on the dinosaur. That's just a smear roll, PV Pixel. <laughs> Raptors using their tail feathers to paint. That looks great. Do you plan on being an artist after graduating? I totally ignored the the talk yesterday when you explained no. <laughs> In one ear, out the other with Inko. Those tiny arms for those who don't remember. Aw, thanks. Well, no, I don't plan on being an artist per se. The plan is to be an antiques dealer, specifically with art. 
What's that mean? I'm gonna sell antiques. What the fuck? <laughs> It means she buys the splattered canvases everyone else just uses for money laundering. Damn, Damien. Surprisingly <laughs> salient point. Yeah, fucking calling it like it is. Ha, <laughs> no. It'll be the real deal stuff. There's a real market out there for it. Yeah, and it's black. So I'm taking the AP business class and using the school's prestigious art program. Just watch out for the mirrors. It's actually why I picked this place out. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm late. What was the cloaca <laughs> mention time? It was well, like 39 minutes, I think. Yeah, well, adept, it was 38 minutes, but we didn't get started until about 23 minutes in. We started talking about Final Fantasy VII for a long time. Worth it. Not just Final Fantasy VII. But yeah, we were talking about remakes in general and how Nomura and Kojima are hacks and then other stuff after that. That's no, true. Don't and worry, then, uh, Adept emote. guy. We have not made a lot of progress. And then emote ideas. I would like to continue making progress. This is a real elite section of graduates from here. Oh, you're the school treasurer too, right? Sure am. I'm doing everything to make sure I'm ready for the real deal. So do you rate the treasure, like, how high it reaches up to you? We count in Scrooges, actually. <laughs> ah, dang, that's even better. I do love painting, though. It's just not an ends to a means. Maybe that's why I want to get into trading. I can get to the right people to the right art they need. That's very thoughtful. Huh. I should start thinking Damn, she of... actually has a future plan. What the fuck am I doing here? <laughs> I yeah. still don't have a future plan. <laughs> I should start thinking of my future more. Hmm. I'm tuckling from the old. government's teat. <laughs> I wonder what Olivia thinks about this. If it even interests her thinking those chips belong to her, damn it. <laughs> her future is at the bottom of that chip bag. Damien is just a, a exaggeratedly nodding his head up and down. I he don't know the chip fatty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's agreeing with Liz or headbanging to some tune playing in his head. Or maybe he's pretending okay, to be no a bobblehead. Uh... Huh? Oh no, did this talk of future bring her down? Did she realize her future will never involve walking? <laughs> so never... Did she not consider that she already realized she wasn't gonna walk she no, She'll never get a chance. She, she never got a chance to run because she never even got a chance just, to you walk. You just say that and she just looks at you and just gets up and walks away. <laughs> <laughs> I only have one time I can do this. I'm using it now. <laughs> I look to the side to see Olivia staring down the chips bag, looking pensive. I guess I'm not the only one that's a bit worried about our long-term plans after school, compared to Liz. But we got the whole year still. Not a <laughs> thought in that head right there. <laughs> what about you, Damien? Boy, it's just staring into space. <laughs> uh, I really have a big goal set. Other than the one on the field. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I'm going here is because it's the closest school to our home. <laughs> Damien, you know I keep telling you about planning ahead. You gotta plan your head. <laughs> I know, I know, but I like keeping my options open. Definitely got to play it for her head. Yeah, it's just a, it, it, it probably requires a lot of coordination, actually. She, ha she has to plan three steps ahead, literally, when she's walking down a hallway. Yeah. Yeah, how does she do hallways? Because the hallways have very limited ceiling spaces. Her head just like forward like a big snake and she's just like trail she's just like she's jousting down the hall she's just jousting down the hall with her head with her head stuck out all the way and just going she around she's got like, like one of those like it's just 
basically like um, like when you've got to put your leg on it when you've got it in a cast, but it's just up to hold her neck up while she's walking <laughs> forward. That's an awesome idea. And, and I was going to say kind of like the thing they use like when a dog need, is like a doggy wheelchair, but yeah. like in the middle of her neck. But yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. And, and then that's not even thinking about the concerns when a room has a ceiling fan. <laughs> that's fair. She like walks to a I ceiling mean, she fan. Just she just gets wrapped all around it. <laughs> so what are so what are you doing in school? I just picked out any classes that seemed interesting to me. Same. Oh, I gotta say, home economics class is pretty fun. I get to make food in class and eat it too. He's got a real good goal set to be a house husband. <laughs> that's all. That's all. Liz is after is a trophy wife. From planning skills in a class, <laughs> you'd be a perfect husband. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> But <laughs> would out. But to get back to my point, that art contest. This is cute. <clears throat> she she she's like a solid number two behind Olivia. If I went and get solid added, number two I mean, she, okay, started. she's look as I said, she's number one. She's got the hat. <laughs> so uh, sorry, Olivia, you lose by default. You are the silver medal. Uh, if I win and get that interview, it's an insane advantage. I'll say. By the by, Olivia, did you submit something for the art contest? Oh. Um. She looks away, slightly deflated. I'm already a champion. <laughs> <laughs> No. The, the hat, really? no! Ah, oh, she's not number one anymore. She dropped it. It's up for grabs. Olivia, grab it. Oh, no, Mia, grab it. Chance, Mia. Then. <laughs> I'm thinking that! <laughs> What's she even doing at this school? Or did you use the same voice? For... I use the same voice for Mia and... I use the same oh. voice for Mia and uh, Naomi. I assume they're related. Naomi <laughs> just walks in, tries to take the hat, hey, Liz, is ushered sounds... away by security. That sounds a certain way. Okay, okay. I'll do it again. <laughs> ah, sorry. I didn't mean it like that. Olivia rolls her eyes and merely goes back to munching on her chips. I wonder what flavor they are. <sighs> Mr. Yada... Mr. Yadikon said you were really into painting. And I really like that portrait of Mia made. It really reminded me of me. Oh, whoa, she what? Oh my god, that's so sad. <laughs> Poor Olivia. <laughs> Her suspicious leer is now replaced by a murderous glare. I'm going to murder you. Inko is really good at sticking his entire foot up his mouth. <laughs> Mm, yep, lunch is the perfect time to eat my feet. Mm, oh, delicious. Ha, 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 fucking called it. Funny they go in height order. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I haven't actually seen any of her real work. Only something she done out of boredom. Olivia's eyes close as she inhales deeply, the air of neutrality returning to her when she reopens them. If I die, tell my wife I said hello. <laughs> Damn neutrals. Can't trust them. Don't know where they stand. <laughs> <laughs> I just... Finally made it to a Kazar stream. Well, hey, almight almighty Wimmer 870. Good to see you stopping in. Well, 879. Wow, 879 people and 29 viewers. Oh, we're in the big leagues now. It was crossing over 30 a few moments ago. See, we're, we're internet just... famous now. Oh, Lord, we doing numbers tonight. I just... <laughs> Naomi scares me more than Mia. Well, why is that, Adept? 
because Mia's direct, Naomi will stab you in the back. Yeah, Mia's up front about being a bitch. Naomi is the, uh... <laughs> Mia, what are those, uh, what are those... Mia are those, will punch uh, your head off. Na Naomi will put the knife in your back. <laughs> what's that's, the, what are those... way to put it. What are those yeah. orc gods, Mog and Gog? One stabs you, one is uh, something <laughs> cunning. One's brutally cunning, the other's cuddle, cunningly brutal. Ah. Yeah, it's that's Gork Mia. and Mork. That's Gia. That, that that's Mia and Naomi. One's brutally cunning and one's cunningly brutal. She looks at me up and down again, as though something will be different this time. Uh, she was trying to hop to a different timeline. And what's that mean? At least Besides... Mia doesn't hate poor people. Well, we don't know that if... yet. <laughs> Even if I could, they're gonna be looking for the best artists here, so you gotta show that to them. So, sorry, I gotta start that sentence over. They're looking for the best artists here, so you gotta show that to them with how good your art is. But I just don't want them to look at me. I feel like they have to give me a reward out of pity. Damien's face is frozen mid-bite, his sandwich losing its meat integrity by the second as his eyes flick between Olivia and I. I can practically hear the blaring alarm in his head as his brain catches fire trying to connect the dots. Did he not notice? <laughs> You're in a wheelchair? <laughs> Wait, why would they pity you just because you, you have that cool walking chair? This entire time? <laughs> why would they hate you? Why would they pity you just because you have a cool chair you walk around in? I thought you were just lazy. <laughs> I thought it was just because you wanted to be cool. I, I want to be judged for my art, not. Olivia struggles to formulate the next few words and lets out a weary sigh. The wheelchair, right? <laughs> It would, it would just be feel undeserved. How? Yeah, how? <laughs> <laughs> Damien, shh. Uses her own whole neck just to pull him back. Has that ever happened before? Do people really do that? I don't get it. What do they pity her for? She has such a cool chair. <laughs> I wish I you had a chair like that. You weren't there for it. Some losers used to even tell me to take advantage of it. Why not? Inko, you fucking idiot. Because the, the reasons I just said, you <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a bad move. Mm, delicious feet. Yeah, like even Damien's mad. Dude, seriously? Uh, and there she goes. Why? So I constantly get reminded of myself? So I can't separate myself from my work? So I can get complacent being worse so I can eventually rely on it? So the playing field can be even? That's a lot all at once. Also the most I ever heard her say at one time. And it's all in anger because of you. Way to go. Ah, so I just have to make her angry to open up. Why is every protagonist like this? <laughs> See, uh, we they have very thick skulls. That's why no hair grows on them. <laughs> That's where all the, the, the hair grows on the inside. He has very little brain because all His the hair brain is has an excellent head of hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sure I got all that, but I definitely touched a nerve I shouldn't have. But what it was, I don't know. No, sorry. Olivia brushes her hair down. Look, I don't want to get awards and praise I haven't earned. I'm not seriously. I'm. Uh, I'm seriously not that good. I really wouldn't win, even though she's obviously won before. 
She sighs. I think that's what she might be taking umbrage with. Well, like, I'm assuming the vic the last time she won was before the wheelchair. Uh, I, don't, maybe I, don't, I can't remember if that's established in the demo. Yeah, I don't know if we won. know that. I don't know if that ever comes up, or at least... So that's that's what I was thinking, is maybe that's why she doesn't quite care for that painting. It's like, mm. uh... So it sound, yeah, it sounds like she's got not imposter syndrome, but like, uh... Th yeah, thinks it's just pity rather than am I really good? It's more yeah. of... Uh, do, yeah, it's more of a... Um, do they actually look at the art, or are they looking at me? Yeah, doesn't that qualify as imposter syndrome? No, Sometimes. imposter syndrome makes it like you shouldn't be here. Um, this is more. Uh... Oh God, what do I call this? There's a term for it, and I'm not blanking. Chat's smarter than we are. Maybe chat <laughs> knows what we're talking about. Yeah, we make it... you think. That's what you do. That's what you come to the stream for. We make you do the thinking for us. <laughs> <laughs> We, we it's a new version of making you think. <laughs> <laughs> literally, we literally make you think. No, it's not imposter yeah, syndrome. Yeah, imposter syndrome is specifically you doubt your skill. This would be she's <laughs> thinking people are looking or looking at the the uh, the disability. But she's also doubting her skill. But anyway, well, well no, she's actively focusing on her skill because she did say. You know, oh, so I could just get worse and complacent by relying on the wheelchair. Right. So she she's... wants to get better, but she also said that she's not good enough to win. Hmm. Well, maybe it could be both situations. A little impossible. The closest, yeah. the, the closest term I can find is disability discrimination. But yeah, it's sure like I think that's the she opposite feels like way. She'd like be pos people... she basically feels like she'd face positive discrimination about it. Ah. Uh. Deja vu, you said the same thing in the demo, I swear about the imposter syndrome. Oh, did we? Also, hey, Adamisk, how you doing? Oh, we're coming we're coming back around again. <laughs> Memes are circular. She oh, sighs man. and takes a long sip of cola. Can I see some of your now. work? No. Pretty please? Man, she really should put herself down like that. I get it. A lot of the students here are crazy good at art. I mean, like, I don't think my skibbity you could even match up to that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's clearly above everyone else here. I'm thinking about marketing it, taking it national. <laughs> just break a power first, you'll win at art. Some are probably better now than I ever will be, and, and they're just starting. It's pretty scary to think about that. I mean, like, that landscape of the city near the principal's office. The landscape? Hold on, I took a shot of it. There's a big hole in it now. <laughs> 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 it's a bit tough getting my camera out now with all the books I needed for class in the way. Man, my camera's great, but I wish it didn't shoot actual ammunition. <laughs> <laughs> Why does like, you shoot bullets instead of film? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you shoot the film? <laughs> uh, it, this is way too literal for my tastes. I lay out the contents of my backpack. Take out my treasured DSLR at last. Oh, out last. After finding the Outlast. shot... Outlast. <laughs> after finding the, sh <laughs> the shot in question in the menus, I turn the display towards everyone else so they can see the glamour shot. A freshman made that painting. <laughs> it's ending one, Inko. Inko ending one's the painting. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take it. They're all too good. <laughs> these, are all, these are all too good. Just from looking at it, I can see why it won first place. You're all going to be painting angels now. I drew that. Oh. Her name is on it, isn't it? My brain finally makes the connection with the signature on the mural. That was you? Is it that much of a shocker to you? 
I'm yeah, quite a bit. Yeah, it looks amazing. I mean, it's whatever. I had to have some dumb guy to help me out, so it isn't like I was the one who did it all. So when you say you can't enter, it's because you already won once. Yeah, basically. <laughs> She's just saying this to shut him up. She looks away from us. Eating your chips in silence. It's like you didn't hear anything I just said before. <laughs> wow, that's I a... drew that skibbity ink up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, she drew a much. Oh, she she drew a skibbity inko, and it was much better <laughs> than his skibbity gator. I heard the expression of being once worth crit critic, but I never expect Olivia to kick herself this hard, which is you know extra impressive considering the fact of. Uh, her legs. I'm mentally kicking myself thrice over just for thinking that last part. That really was in poor taste. Okay, wait on. What was the last part he actually said? The last part was kick herself this hard. So I'm assuming he, it is the... Uh, the same no, no, thing. I mean, what, what is he kicking himself over? Probably uh, kicking the, the kicking line. For herself kicking herself, so I'm thinking it's also oh, a joke. Oh, he he, real, is, he okay. realizes uh, he, he made a dumb he made a dumb okay. comment in his head and he's I just took okay. further. <laughs> he knows Olivia can't kick him, so he decides to do it himself. What? Uh, something wrong, Liz? Did she bite her tongue or something? Why why is she imitating one of those pitcher plants right now? Pitcher plans is what it's actually say, but that was obviously a typo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Liz? Good thing he doesn't a non-mumble. Yeah, very. Yeah, see, that's good that his uh, his uh, trait is just zoning off inside his head. Hmm. Yeah, as far as we know at this point in the plot, it was kind of a twist <laughs> when it happened. What's with that look, long neck? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, she really put some emphasis on that. Yeah, I wonder if that. I wonder if that's also meant to be a slur in this universe. Hey, anything is you. if you say it right in the right way. Mm, bit of spirit sizzle. You're making it weird. Don't make it weird. Oh, that's me. <laughs> yeah, it's been it's been ages, Olivia. You're making it weird. <laughs> Think oh. Hmm. Oh, like Randa. Okay. Because uh, I mean, that's also British slang for like horny. <laughs> to think a Randy like Inky here got you to open up like this in just two days. We don't know. He could also be horny right now. This is so weird now. <laughs> He's got gator fever. <laughs> he I really just... wish they would stop. I really wish they would stop using terms like open up. <laughs> oh, why? Yeah. Well, because of what we just talked about a few moments ago. I am ago. not oh. opening up to you in that way. <laughs> I can't even do that with my legs. <laughs> <laughs> he gestures to me. What'd you do, man? Well, I drew her sticking out of a toilet. <laughs> you wait, you what? <laughs> the, the perfect face. The girl in question freezes. Damien's thoughtless comments having thrust her into self awareness. How Dude, many That is me very frequently. I'll just be like observing a conversation, forgetting that I'm actually present in the room. <laughs> oh, and, wait, I'm here. And she just leaves. Oh, she must be hurrying off to 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 frame the skibbity. <laughs> how how many wait. how many slurs even Dino! exist in the di Dino universe? Uh, at least three for every Dino. Sorry, she's gone. How many what exist? How many slurs? How many slurs uh, exist? Frill neck. Three for every Dino. <laughs> there's there's like there's three for every Dino and like a hundred for humans alone. 
Because every dino well, makes three for humans. <laughs> <laughs> well, she did give a warning. Aw. Yeah. I was just excited she was making good progress. I feel like that's also, I mean, even discounting socially awkwardness, socially awkward people, pointing out, hey, you're making great progress in this conversation. Is it a good way oh. to make somebody just want to leave? Of like, yes. what is that supposed it's, to mean? It, it's, it's very condescending, too. Like, oh, look at you. You're doing so good coming out of your shell. You can do it. Good, Gator. <laughs> <laughs> you want a chicken leg? Here's a chicken leg. I mean, I think leg. it was more just social. them being like, hey, you're happy. Not really like, oh, look at you socializing. It was like, yeah, oh my god, she's but, happy. But I, either way, point, it, pointing it out, in yeah. any case, it, it, it's, you know, it's kind of like the equivalent of the, oh, look, like, you know, the the, the image that goes around around Thanksgiving of the family at the table. It's like, oh, look who came out of his cave to socialize. It's like... My my point was that being happy about someone else being happy is not being condescending, but it is a good way to make them feel self-conscious about being happy, which I, is not great. I swear to God, I've seen like a Wani or Snoot themed thing of that exact image, Kaz, and it's just <laughs> I mentally pictured it. <laughs> um, okay, look who came out of their cave to hang. Oh, it's because it's especially funny because in humans, calling them caveman is a slur for humans. <laughs> Was calling a ca them a caveman a slur? Because I thought it, it, I, don't know if I it's thought exactly Spears a slur, was it's straight up a Neanderthal as species. I mean, he was he was a straight up Neanderthal, but it's like he I don't think he, I think he took offense to the term caveman because he doesn't live in a cave. He has a nice suit. He's a principal of a school. He has a job. He has a four hundred one k. He's not a caveman. He's like those Geico commercials. It's so easy a caveman can do it. Do they have any idea how offensive that is? You know, I actually saw that he brought back the caveman on a recent commercial. Yeah. Remember? Remember when they made the show? They made yeah, a show about the Kaiju yeah. That, was, that, that was, was fun. No. <laughs> stupid oh, idea. It, it's, so stupid. I, you, it's really funny to think about, like... It's, boy, it, companies back then would get so excited about the smallest amount of popularity. See, I can't see smooth skin and not just hear it as a ghoul. <laughs> yeah, ghoul, that would definitely is a... That's just, what, it's too it even to better than Olivia out. says it. What's the well, yeah, she does. Well, yeah, she does have ghoul voice canonically. <laughs> I you fucking say, you hate say it, that Hinkle. image, but it's so real. It's so real, but it gets funnier in this universe. Smooth I'm... skin. Smooth skin. The rest of the life <laughs> came out of their cave. Want to tell us about your virtual girlfriend? <laughs> you hug the gator yet, son? <laughs> <laughs> the rest. How's of... that snoot going? The rest of the lunch we spent trying to talk about Liz's art progress. Ooh, oh, hey, thanks for the a sub, grenade. grenade. Hey, a grenade boosting appeared. The Don't worry, boost the analytics. We appreciate the 66th month streak. Holy damn. shit. Hot damn. Thank you, grenade. I bless that prime sub. <laughs> <laughs> really just you laying that one, run. You can expect your very own snoot in the mail soon. Can you prime sub it here, too? No, probably not. He probably has it manually, or has it set to just renew. Damien looked like he wanted to try to bring Olivia back into the conversation, but no one had any idea where she had gone. It's typically hard to bring someone back in when uh, they're not there. Yeah, Kazard, I would just like to say that if I still had my old job, I would be subscribed, but now I'm a poor man. Oh well, the it's the thought if that counts. I was counts. a rich man. I'd no, be subscribed to my friend. Don't subs are not required, but they are all appreciated the same. Just stopping by to watch or you guys being eye on the stream is is equally, if not more so, as good. I just use my Prime sub. It's convenient to me. <laughs> Still, a part of me thinks she wants to talk. I want to talk about my gator. <laughs> So why doesn't she? That's a cool idea, Callard. Ending one is just Inko becoming Stefano from Evil Within 2. I've never played Literally. that. Literally. That is... Uh, it's actually surprisingly good. I, uh, but Stefano you... is one of the killer villains. You, you think he's supposed to be the bad, bad, but he's just like the first guy. His uh, whole thing is he basically has a camera that can stop time. Interesting. 
Also, what do you mean by surprisingly good? Like, the first one wasn't that good, so the fact the second one was so much better was, like, it caught everybody off guard. <laughs> ah, okay. Sadly, a question for another time, as Olivia's departure seemed to signal the end of lunch. At least Liz and Damien wave goodbye. Leaving me to clean up all the trash from the table. Clean it up, skinny. <laughs> Why do you even bother? That's what janitors are for. Including everything well, I removed from my backpack. They get paid to do it. That's fucking get your shit and leave the trash behind. Uh, I mean, it's they're paid to clean up trash, but it's like, you can help them out. It's like, there are people paid to get your uh, cart back into the right cart, uh, cart spot, but, you know, it does, not, doesn't I'm not hurt supporting you a right school spot. for the arts. That, God damn it. <laughs> I'm Inco going there and I'm taking advantage of it, but I will not support it. Inko was raised well. Darn it. And you don't go to the doctor's office and be like, figure out my name! You help them by telling them your name. Well, that's different. That's an exchange of goods and services. I, I'm getting something from that. You're getting also, a not dirty school. I would I would also like to take a moment now. Well, here's the difference. Scene. They will be cleaning whether or not my trash is there. Well, I just wanted to take figure a... out your name, probably. <laughs> yeah, my doctor should be psychic. They should know my name before I walk in. Now that that scene over, I kind of wanted to take him. I, th I think I, gu uh, I gushed about this already in the demo, but for Hinkle and Scruffy's benefit, I wanted to say it again. I really like that scene because it highlights Olivia's main, uh, what I assume to be her main arc throughout the story, is that she feels uh, really down on herself because she thinks all of the credit she gets for her art, no matter how good it is, is always going to be due to her being disabled and people taking pity on her and her dealing with that. And then here comes Anon with a completely unbiased opinion. Like He had no idea she created that art. He just really, really like the uh, the mural outside the office and he gushes about it and it kind of confirms to Olivia that oh hey there's somebody who had absolutely no idea that a girl in a wheelchair made this awesome painting and he really loves it and yeah, I, I really like I, I was boy. expecting that from the moment we saw the painting the name on the painting but I was actually yeah. surprised that they did that so early in the story yeah, I, I, it didn't click for me. I didn't pay enough to close enough attention to no, that, the name I, I'm on the I'm not mural. surprised. It seemed like it would have been a good icebreaker for that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. It, it definitely helps set up because also especially, how... Uh, especially after Eoticon gave such a big boost earlier. Yeah. I also I have been thinking, because I've been watching the first stream, um, about what Inko's story arc is going to be. And I think... If I'm correct, then I understand more why it, Inko was so, so stricken by a, a expression on someone's face of complete lack of interest in them. I, 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 because I stand by what I said. It's a really weird way to start a romantic feelings. Like she doesn't care about me at all. Uh, that makes me interested. Like that's that just makes... weird. <laughs> like I get, I can get finding someone pretty but i don't know it's it's hard to it, explain it is i mean it also ties into like what happened at the very beginning when everyone gushed over inko just because he was a human and wanted their yes. pictures with him and that was the novelty but uh she doesn't give a shit and that yes. is hot and that's him. what i'm thinking is that that's going to be more of his story arc is that yeah. he was My so stricken by someone who doesn't just immediately consider him an animal yeah, well, I mean, I, I mean, it also, say... I mean, it also kind of, it also parallels with her arc too, because yes. maybe uh, he's very, very concerned that he's, I mean, he's very down on himself for different reasons. Like he doesn't have the same concerns that his art is appreciated just because he's a minority. Uh, yet, I assume that might be something that happens later. Is someone gives him a lot of recognition and he finds out it's specifically because he's human, and then that ties yeah. him closer to Olivia. Well, I, but I mean, it's sort of. I, I, lines coming from different directions. I mean, I, well, I, I feel Anko also has a little more of a. Like, because, like, we saw how he'll flop of, like, oh, wow, this is amazing. Everyone's paying attention to me. Oh, wait, they left. Damn, my life's over. I just blew all of my yeah. social chances the entire year. He's very flippant, so he only kind of touches on topics. Like, you know. Yeah. He, he's look. He, he walks into school, sees all the art, and he's like, damn, I'm never going to reach up to this stuff that I just saw in, like, yeah, three it. seconds and have a whole year to learn how to do also myself. Yeah, he's I very am, he's very quick to be down on himself. I am curious to see how his 
ups and downs because it generally his giving up which is also going to be a part of the story arc relates to what i was saying about people just seeing him as a novelty and not a person mm. the two don't feel related but i'm sure it's going to end up being related somehow if my thought is even actually where the story is going yeah. anyway anyway no guy no chat we do not have a stella emote yet actually you know what what let me pose the question to you guys since i need ideas for animated emotes how about stella becomes an animated emote what should she be doing as an animated emote what what would you want stella to be doing doesn't she have like a cute image where she's like playing with her tail uh i mean there's a few of those i think yeah i mean like in the actual game oh yeah it, well i mean in think cute game obviously yeah no I, one cares I, about the other one i think flashing the... cards is also good though Oh, like, oh, yeah, because of the tarot stuff, it could be like a card flash. Yeah, like, you, you could just, like, cycle for different tarot cards. <laughs> yeah, like, tarot is her thing. Maybe it's a spinning tarot card with her on it, or she's, like, putting down a tarot card. Oh, that's also a good idea. Which it's one? like a tarot card with her, like, the actual emote is a tarot card, but it's her on it. <laughs> giving birth. Oh, no. No. <laughs> All right. Well, on that note, photography class comes and goes. Photo yeah, photography comes and goes. <laughs> How many animated would you be allowed to have? Miss. Uh, I think. Hold on. L let me look. Because it's quite a bit. Because they gave a lot recently. Uh, I can do six animated emotes plus two more if I turn on Twitch alerts, which I have been meaning to swap over off of Streamlabs at some time. So there's a potential eight we got to work with. You could do the uh, the Liz neck one as an animated one. Hmm, I could. Somebody put her head popping out of a bush as a reference to a snoot thumbnail, which is a great idea. And building off of that, do it like the Simpsons meme. Just slowly, <laughs> yeah, or just head yeah. and neck slowly backing into it. Receding, yeah. <laughs> Receding in and out. Oh, that could be fun. Yeah. Uh, that could be fun for Stella, but I do like the tarot card one. I guess this I guess the bush one would make a better actual emo, because what would what would you post a tarot card for? Yeah, so let's go with that. Let's go with the bush for Stella. Hmm, now to think we could do animated for all the other characters that have emotes. But anyways, I'll let you chat mole on that. Let, let's let's continue on. I don't on. know, I'd just say something like Mia punching you. <laughs> Since we're partners, Iadakon gives Ben and I the green light to walk around the campus. Give me the green light. Ben shows me around to see his prime photo spots and such, and as such becomes my impromptu tour guide. Again. It's actually pretty neat to see the parts of the school that I haven't explored yet until now. Ben's about to introduce me to his crack dealer. <laughs> Places like the music hall and recreational pool were the most interesting to see. Well, Ben is the, the crack dealer. The crack den was the crack <laughs> den was neat, but not as interesting because uh, it was there. There were some unsavory people, uh, unsavory dinos in there. They kept asking no me shit. for crack. <laughs> Currently at the courtyard, Ben points out the views of the outer landscapes around the school tarot card but spelled like pterodactyl i like that <laughs> that is cute i wonder why ben was so eager to show me these views are impeccable 33 of them <laughs> but while he's explaining the image he has in his head my mind still wanders back to olivia i wonder what i did to make her express herself so much espresso herself <laughs> inko Inko! Oh no, he's having another episode. Wick, where's his epidemic pen? Huh? Epidemic pen? <laughs> it's my pen, it causes epidemics. <laughs> I was asked. <laughs> I was just explaining this is where I like to come outside and scream at nothing until the crack finally stops working. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I come out to tweak. <laughs> this is where I come out to panic until the existential crisis kicks in. Anyways, I was asking Until you... Until kicks in? <laughs> <laughs> yes, whenever I'm not having it, it's quite distressing. <laughs> Crack talking. I was asking if you'd be available sometime during the weekend to take photos. And crack. Oh, oh. I'd bring it. I'd bring that, of course. 
I'm free on Saturday. But, Are you, you know, don't feel but, free to bring more than just crack. Wait, you're 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 down, right, Inku? You're not a knock, are you? Yeah, you know I'm down to climb the, Charlie Brown. Because if you're a knock, you have to tell me. I have to know about every knock in the school. Ah, tr if I was a cop, I'd be I'd have a much better jacket. Hmm, true. You are wearing blue though. That's highly suspect. If I was a cop, I would have already committed a hate crime by now. You can trust me. <laughs> ah, that's a fair point. That's a fair point. Disembodied Inko voice. Does well, the he next have 3D printed Warhammer pieces. <laughs> your your Tulipa makes an excellent point, Inko. Excellent. We can make we can meet up back here then. My favorite part about that joke is that the audience doesn't get it at all. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. As we head back to class, I begin to think if there's something I could do in history class. Hmm. Oh no! Now all everything everything went dark again. Inko, <laughs> hand me my crack. <laughs> <laughs> Back in history class, Miss Prockley continues prattling on about. And after a final offensive that left the entire city of Triceroptus destroyed, the Kithionian he hegemony was finally defeated, bringing Hegemon. an end to their crimes about, <laughs> bringing an end to their crimes both against both Dino and humankind. Kithonian hegemony. How do you he he hegemony? He hegemony? Hegemony. Hegemony. He is that, the isn't it hegemony? Yes. Hegem the Kithonian hegemony. Really? And hey, hegemony. Because the person at the top is called the Hegemon. <laughs> and, and, yes, we ha we, and yes, we have confirmed that Kenthonian horrors do exist in this universe. Chew on that for a little bit. I don't... Kenthonian is like Cthulhu shit. Well, I mean, that could have just I... been the name of this, the kingdom or the uh, state. Actually, yeah. actually uh, I learned this, what was it, I think off of Hades, Kenthonian just, I think, in terms of the stuff refers from the, like, under-earth. So it's just oh, natural, so like natural to Earth. Darkness, but yeah. yeah. Together, the humans and the dinos were able to drive back the mole people to the depths from which they came and now belong forever. <laughs> the emulsion! This is the plot of Gears of War. <laughs> the emulsion. What do they call the fucking bad? With locusts. We drove the locusts yeah. back at great cost. Everyone, please remember Dominic and his sacrifice. Don't don't remember how this we caused this entire problem ourselves. <laughs> With that, the Dino Human War came to an end, and peace was finally declared after ten years of strife. Strife, of course, like cloud strife, like as in Final Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> detention, Inko. <laughs> detention forever for the rest of the school year. Of course, there was the matter of rebuilding and dousing all of those fires still burning, as well as what to do with the ball of bodies and... You throw the bodies in a pit, and then it turns out that the bodies actually mutate what? into new living bodies, and who? then Gears of War just... 4 happens. Who, yeah, who would fucking yawn at this? This is cool lore. This is some deep lore shit. We're talking about fighting the mole She's people. She's doing it very back dryly, to be fair. Fucking Hollow Earth exists, and you're not excited? <laughs> I should probably care more about Procklink's lecture, since history has extremely strong cultural connotations. But man, is it boring! Man, the uh, whole people are so is it, it is weird right that now. this uh, that this final city of this hegemony was Triceratops. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, that's actually a good point. Why was there a capital city called Triceratops? Were the Triceratops involved? Mm. Mm. Well, mm. Maybe, really maybe, maybe, Trish, making, what do you know? Maybe we're it, making you. Maybe really Anon was right again. about Trish. We're making you think again, chat. Think about the this. The game Gears of War. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Ahead of me, Olivia has returned to her do default, sullen, deflated gloom. She's not glaring back at me, so she's probably over whatever that was. So or you know, she's gonna she... evolve it to Vile Bloom. <laughs> it could become Blossom. That's uh, true. Or she still doesn't know I'm here. Olivia! Blossom also I'm over here! I thought they technically did. I don't know. It's hard to see them. They've got like little nubby feet. Wait, what are you guys talking about? Blossom. Blossom. Bloss yeah, Blossom. No. No, I don't remember Blossom. I, 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 well, I don't I remember, know. I've like, never... in Pokemon I'm Stadium I'm, 2, I'm, I think, when it gets I'm, knocked over, you see, like, little feet? Yeah. I am a... way I am way too fucking scared to Google Blossom Upskirt to find out. 
You could. I, I Google Palossum feet, and <laughs> holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> Why? These are, Why? What the f Why? fuck, people? <laughs> Why would you? Why would you do this? Well, hey, at, at least it's probably not as bad as what you give. You'd search, uh, you know, Gardevoir feet or Salazzle feet. Wow, that first image. That that said, I've seen Arbok feet, which raises many questions because it's a snake. That just raises further questions. No step on snake. <laughs> I remember Don't my history me. teacher says some, th some of the craziest shit about history, but how they said it was so goddamn boring. Yeah, the the, the way the teacher delivers <laughs> it. The first time I had calculus, Calc 1, it was, he had a German accent. But he had like a very dry luxury type and it just was putting me to sleep because it, it, it was it, it, he sounded like the dry eye commercial if anybody remembers that oh the uh the ben, ben stein. stein yeah, yeah. ben stein. It, it just had that droll but somehow a little more tired <laughs> that's very funny grenade <laughs> wani wheel do 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 assuming i don't end up with a mechanical pencil jammed through a lens that would be a funny Happy Wheels mod. <laughs> the Computer, other... don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. That's economics class. The other students are similarly bored, only occasionally marking down something whenever it sounds like it'll be on a review sheet at the end of the week. There is, of course, no more note passing today. Hmm. Ooh, a fancy Olivia spin. Whoa, look at that. That's sick. Look at that thing. Look oh. at her go. Hello, ice cream truck. How you doing? Thanks for stopping in. That is, and they got a Carl emote too. That's funny. <laughs> I like the Carl. This Prockling's a fusion yesterday, but still be on their minds. There won't be any more chances given, and even though she doesn't seem threatening on her own, the consequences would be dire. Solly has a gulag, and I have the keys. <laughs> Especially if she could call Solly over like her own personal enforcer. There's simply no getting around it. This is just a period we'll all have to sit through. And there isn't even any solidarity to be had in our shared misery. It's simply the reality of high school history class. I enjoyed my history class, you goddamn coward. <laughs> the She's talking about fucking insect people underneath the hollow earth taking over humans and dinosaurs. How are you fucking bored with this? What do they have to put on their fucking uh, YouTube shorts in order to keep people entertained in this universe? She's gotta have subway surfers going at all times on the, on the whiteboard behind her. And family guy funny moments. <laughs> all right, so... Blossom do not have footprints. Oh, okay, so they don't right, have feet. I guess they don't have feet. And, and, like, you know, like in the, a lot of the Pokedex game, in the, yeah, a lot of the have... games, the Pokedex have footprints. Blossoms yeah. do not have footprints. But I... they're also defined in the Pokedex as bipeds. Maybe so... they count bipeds as long as they stand upright. Yeah. Maybe they float. But... Maybe their legs are just the leaves that form their little dress, but just like really stretched out and around their whole circumference. Or the leaves are just their feet. Uh, yeah, I think they're just sort of shuffling along by leaf. Yeah, maybe That's also, I, I, I really want to commend you for, for, for such a. I really want to commend you for finding such a PG method of finding out what blossom feet looked like. I couldn't find. I couldn't I've, think of. I've been through a lot. <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, this is all things. probably knowledge by now for everyone in this world. I don't know. I feel like most high schoolers don't know about too many wars. It's actually, I mean, that. to be fair, maybe this is their version of Call of Duty. You know how Call of Duty does all the same battles from World War II over and over again? Maybe this is their version. Like, they already okay. played the Call of Duty too many times, and they know about the mole people and how they got put down. Or maybe uh, this isn't, you know, a Dino Human War II with uh, Raptor Hitler. And this is the war we had. This is the you know the less bore. This is the more boring war that came before. Yeah, it's World War. It's World War One with the Mole Kaiser. Fucking shit! I'm war. sure there's a lot of people who still can't tell you who fought in the War of 1812. 
uh, Canada and uh, U.S. basically, uh, British supporting the uh, the Canadians because it was a, still a British colony at the time. Yeah, it was. Was it even Canada? It's it, it's yes, basically the majority of the forces the, were the stationed war, in Canada already. No, but I meant like, was it there a nation of Canada? There was a colony of Canada. Well, the The War of eighteen twelve is basically the direct DVD video well, sequel guess, for you know, the Yeah, there was a province war. of Upper Canada by that point, and a province of Lower Canada. So there was, technically. The only saving grace is that she isn't stalking around the room looking for us to do something wrong. Instead, we're being lectured at. Make it fun, bitch. I couldn't I... tell you jack shit about the Hundred Years War. Was oh, I can actually years? tell you a little. That was yeah, the Hundred Years War. France and England war. fighting on and off for a hundred years. It's the war. It's the war with uh, Joan of Arc. So I remember the Hundred Years War. Oh, or at least the end of it. You only remember it because a wife who was involved. Yes, of course, as all best things are. <laughs> Why do you think I remember the Revolutionary War, Susan B. Anthony? Why do you think I remember World War II? Uh, yeah, Susan B. Anthony is the woman. Wait, hold on, no. I'm thinking of shit. No, I'm thinking of the woman who did uh, women's rights to vote. Who's the woman who made the American flag? Betsy Ross. That's what? Be Betsy, Betsy Ross. Ross? Yeah, no, that, that doesn't right. sound right. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Give me the the woman who made the flag. Uh, Betsy Ross, yes. Okay. That's what I, I said. <laughs> I, I misheard you. For some reason, I heard Hesse Ross. No, I said Betsy Ross. I couldn't Hesse hear the Ross. B. I couldn't hear the B. Anyway. I can't take blame for this. My head mechanically copies down whatever she's written on the board. And in World, I was just going to say, in World War II, there was Queen Elizabeth, and that was the last oh waifu of wars I can think of. <laughs> and while I... She could... was really... She was cute in the 40s. There were lots of Vietnamese women in the Vietnam War. <laughs> <laughs> and while I should also be paying attention to what Miss Prockling is saying, I'm more than certain that we'll be reading the exact same things from our heavy textbook. So my eyes wander away from her and the board to scan over my peers, all equally as bored and feigning interest. Japan made Harriet Tubman an anime girl. How are you guys wife wing historical figures? Adept guy, read the message right above you. <laughs> also, Fate Stay has been wife wing historical figures for years now. I don't see how this is new. No, this isn't wife wing men historical figures. <laughs> King King Arthur is I mean, my wife. Japan was doing that for a while before. Like there was a ton of like Oda no Oda Nobunaga stuff as a like a teenage girl now. King King Arthur is really? Kawaii and I want to marry. Yeah, like way back in the day. A teenage girl? I believe. Eventually, there is a bit of movement ahead of me. What's she up to now? Is she waifuizing all these all these soldiers? Olivia folds a sheet of notebook paper back and forth discreetly, creating a deep crease. Yeah, there's straight up a series called The Ambition of the Oda Nobunaga, but they're all uh Instead, it's now high schoolers fighting each other instead of, like, the warring states. <laughs> yeah, but he's still a man. No, they are teenagers. Uh, I mean, <laughs> they but, are teenage uh, girls male. fighting each other. Oh, he's a... <laughs> to Oda Nobunaga's a girl? Yes. Oh. It's, they're all... Uh, like, they takes a bunch of o historical figures and just makes them all teenage girls now. Well, now... <laughs> There's also that, uh, what was it, the Panzer Wars thing with the girls in the tanks? Wasn't there a thing with their waifu wing girls uh, historical figures? Girls in Panzer? Figures? Yeah, girls in Panzer. Wasn't that waifu wing historical I figures? I watch that a lot. Well, I didn't either, but that's just a, a cute I'm girl driving one tanks that's... anime. See, everything's, everything's improved by turning it into an anime girl. It's true. Everything he just said now is true. <laughs> Started in September 2012. And... Or at least the anime did. She licks her finger and runs it across along the crease and gently pulls. Well, Oda Nobunaga, but it's supposed to be Oda Nobunaga. Yeah, obviously. The paper rips along the seam silently. Gotta give him the right names. Oh, is, is she really risking it? What's she even got to gain? It's, it's just a note passing game. The gator going for it? Maybe she feels bad because she got caught yesterday? No, I think she wants to see Skibbity too. <laughs> Electric Boogaloo. Oh, it doesn't boy. get good until like Skibbity five. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia passes the note to her left. We don't talk about the odd-numbered Skibbities. The, the student next to her raises an eyebrow, 
but surprisingly takes the note. And immediately passes it on without looking at it. One by one, my classmates pass the note along to the next. Nobody dares open the note and write something in. I surreptitiously keep track of the note in the corner of my eye as it makes its circuit around the room. Thankfully, Miss Prockling's eyes are focused on the board when I feel a tap on my shoulder. I reach for my ear as to give it a scratch, and the folded page is pushed into my waiting fingers again and against my ear. Imagine the paper cut. As I feel an edge <laughs> grind against my earlobe, I chew my lip to keep the hiss of pain contained. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> I'm good at calling things. Well, we did also play this before. I remember very few minute details of the demo. I remember the basic plot, but I don't remember every single individual piece of dialogue. You lie, the, the subconscious is coming. Ah, <laughs> uh, I grenade just screaming. I could feel that as I read that. Exactly. Probably the images in your the power of mental suggestion. <sighs> a deft guy, why? Imagine, Imagine a paper, a paper cut on your urethra. Stop! Stop! <laughs> I mean, I've got one underneath it. my fingernail. Stop! Right? So that... <laughs> Usopp curse! <laughs> <laughs> Probably unintentional, but a paper cut still stings bad, especially on such a fleshy part. Well, there's your answer, fleshy. adept guy. My fingers toy with the bundle of paper now at my desk. No one else had bothered with, bothered with it. Aww. You now you know there's an actual image of that. I don't think I want to know further. I I don't even know what we're talking about, and I don't. Uh, I'm I'm specifically trying not to. <laughs> I wouldn't exactly call it an empty canvas, but there Probably could be potential. Something from the Pain Olympics. <laughs> there's a crumpling noise died. beneath my fingertips. Must have unfolded it while while I was thinking. He's unleashed ultra draw stinked. <laughs> Looking at the sole doodle on the sheet, I see a pretty simple rat drawing with a very realistic hand next to it, giving a thumbs up. No spoilers. <laughs> About the rat? No, J no, Fab mentioned that. that. Yeah. I know that exact fucking image. <laughs> There's it's just the fucking rat with the thumbs up. Stop! <laughs> I've no, like it's not even like it's a no. They meant this they just image from this. It it's here. like a meme. Are, are, even... are we talking about urethra still? No, no we're the talking about thing that they're talking about in game, you jackass. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. <laughs> There's plenty of space this time. I'm not reading that message Callard said. <laughs> we're, we're not adding to the per further mental pain here. I'm not even reading I it. I regret reading that one. <laughs> and chat was calling me unhinged. <laughs> and Miss Prockley is preoccupied at the front. I doubt she'd even notice. You finna catch a dodgeball there, Inko. <laughs> the temptation is there, making my fingers... <laughs> oh, we're, we're just escalating these mental images now. Oh, boy. The temptation is there, <laughs> making my fingers... It, you know, th these are times where, you know, I, I you know, think about how some streamers keep their chat... Like, on now, the screen chance, apparently on the side, or have, like, a chat replay add-on to catch it for the YouTube. This Adept is a good guys, time to not have that. Adept Guys has ended up becoming very funny to me, because the only way I could see that working is you'd have to be fully erect. And at that point, you'd have a much I'm, bigger problem running I, full speed at a wall. I, I'm gonna go get a snack. <laughs> <laughs> I get the feeling well, this is not a beginner level Kazard stream. I uh, yeah, card. When we get the group streams well, going, things go off off hinged insanely fast. To be fair, well, any of the Cave Manon games really draw it out of us. No, while we're waiting on Hinkle, there was the like Mario one. It is, it is, we started talking not... about uh, sphincters for like forty minutes. Yeah, it's not that that's... it's not that hard to run while full. It was at least <laughs> kind of like a train Just of thought conversation. That. True. It's not hard to run while fully erect. <laughs> I don't know, just running fully erect is a very strange image regardless. Well, I mean, the the hard part would be <laughs> aiming it aiming it at the wall t to get this goal, because you're going to start helicoptering once you build up speed. There's also the fact that, yeah, when you're running, that toothpick's probably just going to end up flying out well before you hit the wall. 
Maybe it's if it's on a track. It's just gonna like, it's bounce just on out rail. armlessly. It's like you have a little monorail set up with your with your with your with your dick just lined up on it, and you're just I mean, running along the sides of the rail. I mean, with this, it's just to get it going well, you have to you know practice some sounding to make sure you don't lose the toothpick. That's the key part. I mean, at this point, it just sounds like it'd be easier, more economic, even to just take the toothpick, put it in your uh, pee hole, and take I really a hammer need and a just jam it. Good night, everybody. Thing on this soundboard. <laughs> good night, everybody. I hate the images that are now inside my head. Oh, Almighty! I hate what I'm gonna have to make oh, for the God. thumbnail for this for this vod. <laughs> if you guys thought Skibbity Olivia was bad, oh, just wait for what I'm gonna have to think of for this one. Maybe I not. Mean, maybe maybe not. <laughs> maybe maybe you don't do that, Cass. No, no, you can. I mean, it's a spoiler for Skibbity Olivia. But if you just like. I'm sorry, it's a spoiler for Skibbity Toilet. <laughs> but if you just draw Skibbity Olivia again, but this time put like rocket launchers in the side of the toilet or something, you're. Oh. You know, it, it works. Jesus Christ. <laughs> New fear unlocked. I like that. I want to do I can see that. Else. Maybe, maybe, yeah. Don't, maybe, don't retread Skibbity Olivia. We, it's like if you tell a joke too many times, it stops being funny. We have creativity. <laughs> the temptation is there, making my fingers itch at finally getting a real chance to do something fun in this sleep-inducing class. You know, this is also the, bringing up the thoughts of if I make a clip channel, boy, th that's going to be a cursed channel on YouTube. Of, of on the on the plus side, more more notoriety, get more attention. <laughs> Clips. Everyone loves easily digestible 15 second clips. Alphas <laughs> love that. In fact, I have the perfect idea in mind that I'd catch Olivia's attention. <laughs> if that doesn't ruin everything, that is. She's not uncompassionate, but Miss Prockling has a lot less tolerance for horseplay in her class. Thankfully, we're not horses. Unfortunately. Hmm. We probably Just... wouldn't get another chance. Just paste a dick pic on the piece of paper. <laughs> and going by Coach Solly's one chance policy, and how these guys aren't even considering playing along, I bet it really wouldn't be pretty. Yeah, fuck, if he gets the whole class caught for something he and Olivia alone did, that would probably not end well for him. Kinda makes me concerned for Olivia. I could just hold on to the note and give it back after class. But then again, what's the worst that could happen to her? Her legs are already broken. But wait, he could put me in a wheelchair, and that would be me. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you'd be closer to Olivia if you both were cripple buddies. <laughs> gotta cripple get, love, it's the purest kind. Gotta get the Clips channel to farm 30 minutes of content out of the one and a half minute VOD. See, yeah, now you're thinking smart. Yeah, you know exactly the path I'm going. Heck. Oh, you're just gonna you cut this shit into 30 minute segments? You're a genius. <laughs> Olivia would never even know. I don't think she even knows I'm in this class. Hmm. I oh, that's I, right. We weren't allowed. I forgot we weren't allowed to draw a second time. So it's v drawing or holding on. I vote we draw on a half pipe. I mean, my problem with drawing on a half pipe like, feels incredibly dis. I, yeah, tasteless. There we go. Extreme! It's, it's like those 90s commercials where the handy capable kid would be skating along the half pipe showing that his disability doesn't keep now, him from rocking. While it is funny, she doesn't seem to particularly care for the wheelchair, so maybe don't bring it up. Also, he made a very good point about maybe not bringing punishment down on the entire class for this. Now, I seem to recall, didn't we choose draw the game? Or, or should I say what happened in the demo? Do you want spoilers? I can't that remember what happened. Howard was saying play the guitar, Hankel. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> fix the game. This one is even more blatantly don't play the guitar because it's like if it was play the guitar while also making fun of the fact that she's transgender. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is. Like, play Maybe. the guitar in a way yeah. that makes her feel self-conscious. Like, well, see, the key point I'm doing here is, uh, that I'm running off, is the drawing aspect. Clearly, Olivia wants to draw stuff, and she passed the note around for a reason. I don't think she wants to draw... I, she wants you to draw... <laughs> draw I mean, it's... Her I, I admit it's gonna... the fact that she's handicapped. 
I mean, I think it is going to be Hink- I think it is going to be Inko uh, sticking his foot in his mouth again. But I think the act of drawing in general might appeal to her. She might. Just I like just don't think something. she would care for it personally. And again, it's more. It's one of those ones where maybe just don't take the risk. Okay, so I'm hearing two hold, two draw. Yeah, that's well, that's what we're I, on. It I, seems you're the. I think the iffy one. Shima. I think. I was kind of I was kind of on the fence too because I do think you know well I do think that uh, her drawing stuff in general would make her feel good. I thought Hinkle brought up a good point is maybe drawing her on a half pipe specifically might be a little offensive. And if you hold on to the sheet till after class, you can still draw on it. Isn't that the idea? Is they saying you can draw on it later? Yeah, it's also a thought. You could just draw on it later. Yeah. And maybe come up with another idea. Maybe than drawing it. Maybe don't. It's, it's yeah, more I'm not wants... saying. Chat really yeah, wants I know what to draw. Chat wants, but chat's not a voter. <laughs> yeah, chat. This isn't this isn't oh. a democracy. Chat doesn't get an opinion. <laughs> not now, anyhow. Uh, I would say I, I would say I'm going to lean on on what Hinkle and Scruffy are saying. I'll put my vote into the hold on to the sheet until after class. All right, we're going by democracy. All right, let's see how we let's see how far playing it safe gets us. And at the very least, it's the very first. If this is an important choice, it's the very first one. We'll have room to fuck up later. Fellas, is Look, it... this is communism. We speak for the people. <laughs> overthrow the tyrants. Hey, overthrow them. Fellas, is it too forward to draw your gator girl's... Your gator crushes cloaca to woo her? Nah, that's not too forward at all. It might raise questions on how you know what it looks like, though. I'll Nobody just... tell the plebeians that the printing press has been invented. <laughs> I'll just hold on to this. That way Olivia will be spared from Miss Prockling's scolding. I'm such a good oh. guy. Saint Inko, that's what they call me. They're un us. <laughs> they're uh. they're ugging you guys. That better not be a spoiler, buddy. With the note safely in my and Again, those are five smileys. I highly <laughs> doubt you're serious. I mean, it's even the first, by... It's the first choice, even if we fucked up. We fucked up the first choice with Fang, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, even with Snoot Game, you had to have two or three bad options. Cool snooting. <laughs> I'm, I'm, surely cool. they wouldn't... Surely this is not the equivalent of the rooftop. With the, with the note safely in my pocket, I can focus entirely on the teacher's boring lecture. Which was dragging on and on and on and... Ugh, I get a little tired again. Suddenly, I find myself leaning over to see what the wheelchair-bound girl is doing now. She's hunched over, arms atop her desk, moving lazily. Hmm. Mr. Nito, is there a problem? I bolt upward when the teacher calls my name, and notice that a lot of eyes are now on me. No, ma'am. I was just, uh, trying to see the board better. Yeah. Are you sure? Because you've been talking to yourself for about five minutes now. I don't like that you called out my disability. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Get used to it. I do it a lot. You Isn't know I have idea? brain damage because of your friend there. <laughs> Miss Prockling huffs. Huh. If you'd pay attention to what I said, that wouldn't be necessary, Mr. Nito. Yes, ma'am. And that goes double for the rest of you. Yes, Miss Prockling. Yes, Miss Prockling. Yes, Miss Prockling. Wait, why is it double for us? <laughs> because there's doubles of us. <laughs> Good. Now, where were we? Oh, right. The old world myth of Magandel- Maganelica- Ma- Maganelica? I believe that's Magellan- Mag- Magellanica. Magellanica. Yeah, like, yeah. like Magellan. Magellanica. Magellan. The old, the old world- the old world myth of Magellica- of Magellica- fucking goddamn- As, why as is it like on Atlantis say? or Columbia, I guess. I didn't- I didn't want to teach history. I was supposed to be a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh right, the old world myth of Mangelica, or what would be more accurate to say, is my home continent, which I have the most difficult time explaining. Oh, um, she's Australian. <laughs> <laughs> well, she went on talking about her spider-infested homeland. Oh yeah, I found my eyes looking back at a certain someone. Mangelica, Mangelica, 
Mangelinica. That makes sense. Mangelinica. A certain someone who is now looking back it's... at me with wide-eyed shock. I'm caught in the briefest of staring contests. And for once, I managed to win. Yes! I beat the cripple. That, that, that hardly seems fair. You're wearing sunglasses. <laughs> How's she supposed to tell? <laughs> exactly. She's grumpy. Well, that also explain that says even more of how he loses so much. If he if he said this is the time he finally won once. Olivia's head whips back forward. It stays locked forward for the rest of class. But the last look I saw from her, that came after the surprise. That one radiated anger. Oh shit. I feel the folded paper in my pocket and my mood suddenly dips. She'll thank us for it later. I mean, no one else was adding to it either. That yeah, look- why is she upset? I mean, <laughs> that look- I, I, I will admit, I just missed part of the scene because I was looking something up. Was it more philosophy? She feet? knows, but- I mean, she found out we're in class, so either she's upset that we're following her in her mind, or she's upset realizing we're the last one in the chain. For you know, her. yeah, I think that's more it. She's like, oh shit, you're in another one with me. That makes sense. No, I think it's yeah, the last one in the chain, because no, surely she knows. No, she, no, no, yeah, no she... because he made a good point before saying, I don't think she knows I'm in this class. And then, you know, the teacher just specifically called him out by name next to him. Did she not? I mean, they had this class before with the. I thought he was called yeah. out during the Solly. I don't scene, know. She tends it? to zone out a lot. Is no, the, the Solly thing was she. Olivia had the no, and Miss Proctor is like, okay, who's been drawing on this? And then some other kid got nailed by the dodgeball. So this is the first time Inko was called out by name. Okay, so this could be the first time that she's seen Inko in this class, and it's like, oh my god, he keeps following me. Yeah, she didn't actually know, know he was the one who handed her the note last time. That look, plus the knowledge of what I had in my pocket. I take the note back out, unfolding it to see the singular doodle on the page. From the corner of my vision, I notice Olivia raise her hand to Miss Prockley. All right, Miss Halford, you may leave now. Everyone else, you may take the last five minutes to start on your homework. She might be upset that you kept the note knowing that anyone didn't write on it. I mean, that's another thing, because it seems clearly uh, we're the last in the chain, so if the note didn't get around, uh, we're the most likely culprit of why it never got back to her. Yeah, I mean, that could be... Which could look at, why are you hogging the art? Or why'd you steal it? He's just trying to not get in trouble. He's just trying to be a good student, that Inko. Nice guy Inko, he, that's what they call him. He don't want no travel. Olivia takes her time to pack away her supplies, occasionally glancing my way. Gone is the paranoia from earlier. It's now become just plain annoyance. As she's leaving, I sketch the first thing that comes to mind. You know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> Olivia waits at the doorway for Miss Prockley to I, open it for her. Is it going to be a skibbity toilet? Yes. Okay. Her head turns my way one last time. I hold up the doodle page with a big fat doodle of Prockley in the center of it. As if I look like this. As if I really look like this. <laughs> her eyes widen again, though she's forced out when the teacher coughs meaningfully next to her. It's too late for me that, to realize that Prockling sees me holding the paper up. <laughs> Fucking Inko. <laughs> I try in vain to hide the paper, but by then the teacher is marching her way over. And what do we have here, Mr. Nito? I was framed. That's real fucking Oh, Nito look at kid. this, everybody. Mr. Nito is an artist. Well, well I mean, th this is an art school, so I don't know if that qualifies as an insult. Everyone's so special. He's so special, everybody. Look at his great art. She snatches the paper out of my grasp. Haven't I already told you about wasting the time you have in class? Her eyes go wide, but she sees the unflattering doodle of herself. I like that expression. 
As if I really look like this. <laughs> she looks at me, face crunched in anger. Oh, yeah, I hope you're ready to eat dodgeball. If this is your attempt at making a humorous gesture, Mr. Nito, then I do not find it very funny at all. Before I could explain myself, Prockling crumpled the papers in her hand and unceremoniously tossed it into the trash bin. Shoot. Yeah, this is this is one thing. You can't be sure whether your choice is going to be good or not because Inko's a fucking idiot and you don't know if the right choice is going to be right because Inko might fuck it up. Defeated, I slump into my seat, now with no paper at all. <laughs> Calm well, down, see Prockling, you it's something. just inflation. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, Prockling, it's just a drawing. I still consider this better than the alternative of making fun of a handicapped person. Finally, and the bell rings and the rest of us are excused. Well, I don't know if she goes on half pipes normally. I don't want to make assumptions about her. As I pack my things, <laughs> I hope Olivia will understand what happened. She, what if she might really not likes... be extreme. What if she really likes to shred? She could just be a normie. <laughs> I mean, the two options were be a party pooper or make fun of a handicapped person. And if, instead, we made fun of all the teachers. We made fun of the... All the teachers have been doing it, so we should have jumped in it too. I mean, the other thing is that it was either make fun of a cripple or made fun of the teacher, and the teacher probably feels bad. Yeah, well, so, we could hurt the teachers. Care about the teacher. Yeah, we could hurt the teacher's feelings. They're not people. What if we want to hug the raptor? Well, uh, we have to wait for that mod then. Just saying, keep our options open. Man. I want to hug that neck. Now I get why Olivia gets to leave some classes early. That's called strangling. <laughs> Do you think if you tried to strangle Liz, she just kind of look at you disappointed? If like, you're going to need a lot more hands for that. How do you think a neck hug from here, her would feel? Uh, I imagine like a boa constrictor. So probably very nice, but also a little weird. Yeah, a little. It's a a little creepy uh, having a. I'm not sure if you had a boa constrictor on you before, yes, but it I've does had feel. Boas. Yeah. I've used to own a snake. Oh, that's right. I think you told me that once. But yeah, I, I assume that's what it feels like. It feels a little weird, doesn't it? Just having it wrapping around. I your mean, arms and it'd like... be a very big snake, but yeah, it'd be more like having like an a anaconda, articulated pika, or an anaconda coiling around you. Oh man. Now Howard, I, get... I agree. You can't strangle yeah. her, but she can strangle you trying. You yeah, <laughs> like there some people might appreciate the comedy of it. But I feel like she's at a place right now, at least that's the way it's come off, where she just doesn't like being reminded of it at all. Like just any mention of it is just somebody seeing her as only a person in a wheelchair. I can see that. That makes sense to me. Yeah, that was also only day three. Yeah, like I said, I doubt that choice is going to be making it or breaking it. If it was an important choice, it was the very first one. Man, Man if it was actually going to give you a chance to draw, I was going to suggest you draw a picture of her, and it just says, you got no, a I... dump truck ass. No, I remember <laughs> I remember this from the demo. It doesn't let you draw. It just makes you draw the uh, picture yeah, no, of her I'm in just... half pipe. I was just saying, if it gave you the freedom, that was going to be my suggestion. We, I feel like we definitely get more drawing options if there's a whole section in the menu of your drawings. Yeah. Man, now I get why Olivia gets to leave some classes early. The halls are so packed and chaotic once class ends, I always end up being pushed around by rowdy students heading towards their next classes. Once school ends, it's even worse. When I saw it yesterday, it was something else. The word Riptide comes to mind. I ended up just waiting around for a few minutes for the flow to die down. It's looking like that's just going to be my routine now. The, the, the woes of being the only human in a dino school. I passed by a few more art displays on my way back, on my way to the stairs back down to the first floor. This isn't the art wing, but there's still a bunch of displays up. Maybe there simply isn't enough space? Something presses into my chest and lurches me to a stop. It's Olivia, holding an arm out to stop me. She's still staring up at me, though less suspiciously. Her jaws open, but no sound comes out. 
it takes more muscles for me to do that than it does to close it. <laughs> <laughs> She's just showing off. <laughs> Is that in itself treating her di her differently for a disability? I wouldn't say that's treating her differently for a disability. It's treating her the way she wants to be treated. In other words, being considerate. Yeah, there's definitely a few different ways to look at it. Also, who says we were going to draw her shredding on a half pipe in the wheelchair? We could have put her on a skateboard. Could have just drawn her <laughs> and she's totally wiped out. <laughs> wipe out. This is how she broke her legs. <laughs> A, a tragic, a tragic shredding accident. She tried to pop an ollie and it didn't go well. She realizes her hand is still out and retracts it awkwardly, indecisively darting between her hoodie pocket and her armrest. Hey, I just joined. Have we passed the demo yet? Nope. Nope. Never. We're, just, we're this is this is the I want to hug that demo. Hey, for, yeah. Hey, also, hey, Frankie boy, thanks for stopping in. But yeah, well, we hit the end of the demo. We're gonna restart from the beginning again, just to cycle forever. And we'll do the demo forever and ever and ever. O only and ever, the demo. And ever and ever and ever and ever. Giraffe. Oh, you're right. You could have told me. Huh? That you were in Miss Prockling's class too. You could have mentioned that. Oh yeah, so that why is why she was shocked was because it was a, a shock to see that he he was following her again. Sorry, uh, I guess it was sort of aiming for a bit of a dramatic reveal there. I didn't, I didn't <laughs> pick up on that's what was supposed to be happening there. I think he's just trying to play off it. Yeah, he's trying to play. Hmm. She brushes her hair aside. Well, whatever. Later, I guess. Later, alligator. Wait, wait is that offensive to say? I, I don't know. No, it's just incredibly unoriginal. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you stop me out here? She stops her chair mid-turn, with gray eyes contemplating the dirty floor. Someone really needs to clean this floor. But they're too busy cleaning the trash on the cafeteria table. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like they should hire more people. With they what don't budget? Have that kind of money. Why don't it's students just school? Of course they themselves. have the budget. I don't really get you. Olivia's eyes turn back to me, and now I can see the nervousness in her pupils. Why do you care? Why indeed? Well, I guess the main reason is... I want- I want to be friends. <laughs> I find that offensive. What, to be friend with... that I want to be friends with you? <laughs> oh, is, okay. is it because I'm a human? Fine, you play that off. <laughs> I know what you did. <laughs> You have with you me. have your minority card and I have mine. With me though? Sure. She continues to look at me with a vague look of confusion, as if my being as as if, as if my being as a whole was an enigma. Are you another Damien? <laughs> no, my name's Inko. Oh I god, <laughs> you are another Damien. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't hurt to try, right? Wait, right? You're, you're not going to hurt me, right? I have the power to run you over. <laughs> Implying Inko wouldn't even be into that. Oh, wait, Chad, <laughs> if you haven't today, Google Chocobo. It's quite fun. Okay, someone else mentioned that earlier. What the fuck's up with Chocobo today? Just, just go do it. Just Google, Google Chocobitch? <laughs> Only Chocobo. Don't Google, like, Chocobo feet or something like before. Hmm. Olivia hums in disagreement, <gasps> finally turning away. Hmm. Ah, crap. Yeah, that was too forward Man. of me. Making. <laughs> oh, hey, that is what it. Hey, that's what it's doing today. 
seeing that makes me think of this. Look at me go! <laughs> that is neat. That is a pretty neat thing. I'm surprised that uh, Square Enix has the poll with fucking Google to do something like this. I mean, yeah, Google used to do that all with a lot of stuff back in the day, so they, I guess they finally did got someone back that likes fun. I mean, did they? Because I don't remember Google doing stuff like this for like a, like yeah, a Mario there, release or a Halo release or anything like, like that. There was stuff like back in like around when StarCraft Two released. If you typed in Zerg Rush, uh, a bunch of like zeros would run to the screen. I mean, no, they, that still works. Oh, that, that, oh, cool. I never heard about that. You could do a Zerg also, Rush on Google. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, they they used to just have fun things, and then they stopped doing it for a while. I hate. Well, I, I do hate. Roll. I do hate fun. Kind of glad. Oh, hey. look at him go! By the way, I uh, don't have the note on me anymore. You can also click on the Zerg the Zerglings to kill them, and like see how long you can last. Oh, it mirrored my page. Ooh. Note. Why, with the doodles from class right now? Yeah, Procklink saw me with it just as you left it. She tossed it away. Sounds about right. And look, I, I didn't mean to hold on to it during class, but I didn't want you to get in trouble with Procklink if she saw you with it. And I didn't want to draw an offensive picture of you. <laughs> Seemed like the best option for everyone, you, you know? No, we all wanted to do that. She seems surprised by my reasoning, and stirs in her emotions until she settles on neutral. See, she's impressed by it, people. It's not <laughs> just going to be the same choice every time Caveman On makes a video game. <laughs> it's whatever. I deal with her on the regular anyways. Her head turns to look neutrally at... I didn't notice the school had elevators. It doesn't. <laughs> it's just, it's it's just a, a This is just a painting. Somebody painted this on the wall. <laughs> it's just a painting, but she still uses it. <laughs> the wily <E>. coyote. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't more people use it? They, because they're, not, they're not allowed, idiot. They're not Looney Tunes. Yeah, I remember the handicapped kids had the little key or something. She flashes a key from her pocket. Oh, wow, there you go. So it's a part of her accommodations. That makes sense. I never even tried to use the elevator at my high school. I just assumed I wasn't allowed. I don't know if there was a key for ours or not. Same deal. At I, my I'm second high school, they didn't have a key on it, and people just used it sometimes. I'm just more curious why they would give her a class on the second floor to begin with. Like, surely there must because be a history. Because the class is building. where the class is. There's only I mean, so yeah, many classes the on school, the first floor. The school's got to fit shit where it's got to fit it. I figured they could, like, they, they there might be a history class downstairs, too. Unless Procklings is the only one. Well, the only I senior mean, high school class. Usually, like, the high schools will have, like, wings. Like, all the art, all the science classes and are in one Sometimes wing, your yeah. class is on floor two, and you just gotta yeah, deal. Yeah, all the history classes will be on floor two. Like, in my... Because I went to two different high schools. Uh, the first one was pretty normal. It was kind of spread out everything because it was more of a square, I guess, than proper wings. So everything was kind of everywhere except for the language stuff, which was in like the newest addition to the school. Interesting. So there was just like this little hallway that jutted off to like a two floor building next door. Huh. <laughs> That was just basically an extension of the school, but it was newer, so. And uh, then the other school I went to, yeah, it was more proper wings, and there was, like, straight up, like, a... Uh, the farthest out wing was where they had, like, the metal slash wood shop and the computer labs and everything. I mean, ours was more square than that, but it all, still, they, like, grouped all the, like, classrooms together. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I can see that. I just thought, I, I seem to recall they had variety and there are some classes for a, a subject upstairs and other classes for another, for the same subject downstairs. I thought they just had, you know, they, they had the options. My, my my high school was all one floor, so we didn't have that. And my, uh, my second high school was cool. They had a straight up had a 3D printer back when that was still rare. Oh, that is cool. Oh, what? And uh, if you were a senior doing the advanced CAD, you got to make your final project using it. 
That's awesome. One sad thing about my high school, so like it's been around for a while, like, you know, my parents went to that school as well, so it's been around for a long time. And uh, my brother, when he was in wrestling, when he went there after me, uh, they had, the wrestling team had to basically bring, like basically carry all the supplies up from the school basement and then bring it back down afterward. There wasn't just a room Ugh. for that because there was only four Oof. people on the team. And he said, there's there's so many much supplies in the basement, like so many computers and blacksmithing equipment. That's like, so it's like they have all this stuff from classes they used to teach and they just shove it in the basement to never be used again. It's like, oh, that's such a waste, wow. especially like stuff I mean, for blacksmithing. It, it, that would be cool. I, mean, I would it, love that. Yeah, it sounds, it, it sounds fun to go downstairs and find all this stuff that isn't used anymore, like a little treasure trove of long begotten uh art supplies it there, there's so there were so many la like there was a courtyard at one spot like off the library all, in between all the hallways it's like that would be a cool spot to like you know just make a like a hangout spot for people using the library but i get why they still probably don't use it is because it would distract any class on the other sides of it that could look in but it's like come on it just pull down the blinds then Anyways, by now, the hallway has cleared up a bit. The elevator arrives, and Olivia rolls in. She moves her arm to push the button and jams the key in some slot. And now it's stuck. She put it in the wrong place. <laughs> she shouldn't have jammed it so hard. <laughs> anyway, later... I'll, uh, see you tomorrow, then. I watch as the door slowly shut with a squeak until I can no longer see the green gator girl. Green gator girls? My senses return to me, and I start making my way to the metro station. Okay, this is one thing that was different from the, the demo, now that we're past it. Uh, we got to ride in the elevator. Yeah, with, when you with, drew with, for her. With, with, with. Oh, oh, oh shit! Because it, when the, the plot have diverged, throw out the. I think the key difference is Prockley wouldn't have thrown it out the drawing, and it would have had more uh, talking oh, points. Shit. She had a funny line too in the demo. If we if we rode in the elevator with her, uh, Inko made a comment about, uh, "Is this thing's weight capacity good for two people and a wheelchair?" To that effect, and then uh, she makes the joke, "Well, what's the worst that can happen? We'll break our legs." <laughs> hmm. As I make He'll the shoot. Oh, yeah. it's, it's, like I said, we still got plenty of opportunities. If that was our, if that was what you would deem a fuck up, then we have plenty of more opportunities. And maybe it still isn't. Maybe maybe it's good that we don't ride in the elevator with with her. Who knows? Cope. Stay optimistic. Yeah, who knows? They probably made the choice. The, the outcomes uh, much more complex than a simple uh, binary point system. Yeah, I'm actually curious how the system is going to work now because I assume it's not just going to be the same as in Snoop Game with the. Uh, why not? Uh, well, because I figure, why would you do the same system twice? Well, because it's it works. Predictable. Well, well it could, works, but it's also predictable. Just well, because they could you have also the same do... system doesn't mean it's predictable. Well, it could obviously also it's have, not predictable uh, if we just fucked up. I mean, it could have more of a path system. So rather than most beats being the same aside from choices, it could be a choice actually makes a different path. Who knows? That's a lot of work. I assume that's not the case. Well, I mean, it is a lot of work, but I think it would be impressive if he went that yeah. extra mile. Yeah, I mean, it's more work script-wise. You don't really probably have to change the backgrounds too much. Uh, have a good night, Tenchi. Yeah, it, you know, it's not like Goodbye Volcano High where they would have to, like, reanimate everything and voice everything, and that's why the game is only, like, you know, 30 minutes. Now, all I'm gonna say is Olivia seems a lot more mentally stable than Fang. <laughs> I would I mean, say that. I don't think seem... that blow is going to be as bad. I mean, yeah, that... I'm not expecting. I'm not expecting ending one of Wani to be ending one of Snoot Game because, for one, this is on fucking Steam. No one's going to release a school shooting on Steam. No put, game has. Didn't the ball. they put like hatred on Steam or something or some of these? Yeah, yeah hatred is hatred's like ironic. Hatred's ironic. Hatred's There's hatred's also like that's uh, worse. What's There's it, so the, much the worse. one cop Everyone... game has the school shooting level now. Like hatred, hatred is edgy and does school shootings for the sake well, yeah, of being there, there's funny. There's so much that's, on Steam. That's Ste so much worse. Steam, <laughs> like Steam, like criteria for games is basically: is it illegal? No. Cool. 
do whatever. Yeah, I mean, you I do agree. a lot of. I mean, if hold on, is that the criteria for games on Steam? Because yeah, like all the Grand Theft Autos, all the Grand Theft Autos are on Steam. Yeah, Difference. basically, just is, don't do anything that would break. Is the game the in itself doing something that is illegal? Yeah. Not uh, are you doing something illegal in the yeah, game? Like, it's, is oh, the game illegal? Like, you, is it showing? There's plenty of games about doing crime. Yeah, like basically, you know, sharing content you shouldn't be sharing, or you know, doxing people or stuff, or or putting out malware or stuff like that. As long as you're not doing those things, Steam's like, yeah, put whatever you want on there. But again, making light of school shootings is definitely way worse. <laughs> <laughs> then I depicting don't... a school shooting that is it's, handled it's, it's dramatically just, it's not, and it's not real in hatred though it's not like it's it's very played up to be not real whereas in snoot game it's very dramatic it's very yeah, real it's the, it i would say that's better that makes it like better it... wait are you saying that ironically makes it better no I, i'm saying no, he's mean, I, it's I, I, better I to tastefully handle it by making it real than it is being okay. like hee 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 school shooting he's... wee <laughs> do it again. Yeah, so clearly we could get a school shooting ending. We could get another school snooter. Okay, well I will, snooting. I will I will instead change my argument to being that no way that Caveman Unknown will do the same twist oh, ending. Oh yeah, no, I agree with that. Game of the row. School shootings lose all meaning if they just keep you doing it over and over again. It, instead, it's a bombing. <laughs> okay, there <laughs> I see it. <laughs> she has the fucking if my wheels stop, the bomb goes off. <laughs> Like fucking, what's that movie with the uh, with the bus, speed. the bomb, and it can't go in? Speed. speed, yes, it's like speed, but with uh, Olivia's wheelchair. It's Ben's second favorite thing. <laughs> As I make the journey home, I look back to the progress I've made with Olivia. It's definitely been a rocky start, but I put it on unfortunate circumstances. Though maybe there were some things I could have done better. Liz and Ben may have had a point about Olivia. But I'll keep trying. <laughs> Gator Kaczynski. Cousin. Now, see, while that is funny, I don't think the woods are wheelchair accessible. <laughs> Shootings lose meaning if they keep happening. That has startling <laughs> real world implications. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think of it putting that way. But... I mean, really I've made the argument it. before. It wouldn't be a very effective snooting. It, you know, just go to the second floor. The elevator takes time. We could put a wall in front of the elevator and trap her. <laughs> no, the just second... quickly drop a brick wall on either end of the elevator. When, oh, she, when gets she goes in. in, you just like hammer both buttons and break it so she gets stuck between floors. School week... snooting, no deaths. <laughs> a week into September has come and gone, and I'm finally feeling acclimated to St. Hammond. Things have Weird, been going... you only have four classes, kid. <laughs> Things have been going pretty smooth lately, if I do say so myself. One of those classes is lunch. <laughs> Over the well, let's oh, see. Oh no, he's got he's got he's got PE, photo, history, and uh, art. the art class. Yeah. So, yeah, so that would be like what four. an hour, an hour and a half. Like if even if each class is an hour and a half, that's still I guess that's seven and a half hours, but that's still really long. I mean that's not I mean that's probably not an hour and a half. It's probably like fifty five minutes I remember my period. Even being. then that's only like five it's not even five hours at school. Yeah. What what was Fang's high score? Uh, I think it was said to be uh you know, she didn't miss with a pistol without reloading, so basically just six. Uh, with a pistol, like a revolver, because if it's yeah, a pistol, it wait, no, yeah, I thought shots. it was a revolver, because like it was okay. her dad's old cop revolver. I'm either, pretty sure I remember way, more than I remember more than six bodies in the hallway. Yeah, wait, could have just been six. Could reload? Bodies. Why not? Why can't she reload? I, th uh, I thought it was specific. I thought they specifically mentioned she didn't reload. She, like she only brought a, like one full thing and then let. Or maybe uh, I don't know. I thought there was a I don't specific remember them thing saying about that at all. No reloading, and the last bullet was some. Oh, maybe that's what it was. That's that she was shaving the last one for herself, and she used it on Anon. Oh yeah, so we only had because of the panic. I um, I mean, yeah, that's a legitimate problem in school shootings. Is that like, or just public shootings in general? It's that people don't help each other. 
So, like, it's entirely believable that she'd just have the time to reload while people are standing right yeah. there because oh, they just... Yeah, but to be fair, I imagine in a school shooting, like, it's it's such a scary event, especially when you're at a young age. It's like, you can't think about anything but your own survival. Like, at that point, it's like, instincts kick in and helping others doesn't immediately come to mind because I mean, you're just that terrified. There's one instance of everyone just, like, I, I don't want to talk about it, never mind. It's... Yeah, maybe, maybe we should uh, move on yeah. from the topic. <laughs> uh, over the past week or so, I've been getting more and more used to my new friends, learning new quirks of them daily over lunch and in our classes. Like Olivia's penchant for tail whips. As I sit on the metro to school, my foot comes up to prod at the tender spot on my shin. I also learned not to borrow Olivia's stuff without asking. Since she usually tries to keep to herself, even when we're partnered up, but I do my best to play nice. Not to say she's being rude or anything, just quiet. More and more, I kind of figured that part of her silence was just nerves. Accepting that silent facet, I think we found some small understanding between us. Enough that I think she's starting to see me as a friend now. Oh, that optimistic Inko. Among other things, Damien and Liz had given me their numbers. Or rather, Damien gave me both his and Liz no as Liz's numbers. At first I thought that Liz would be mad that Damien basically doxed her but she didn't seem to mind when he explained his reasons. I feel like giving a friend a phone number isn't exactly doxing. Uh, I mean, it's annoying. I still feel weird giving it to someone without, like... Yeah, I mean, I, I would say it's like, weird, I, but definitely not a dox. Like, I would especially be it's, annoyed by it. I guess you'd be surprised my... what you can get with the phone number. All right, did Shiba just say she'd be annoyed by... It? It's, it's, uh, let me start over. <laughs> yeah, did Shiba like... just say that he'd be annoyed by a doxing? Yes, that's... I'm just talking. I'm oh, just talking really? about. Yeah, no, I'm talking about my phone number. I haven't given chat my phone number oh, yet. They ain't getting okay. that. They have to. I've given them enough hints. If Eight, they want to talk to me, I've given them enough hints. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Call Shima for a good time. <laughs> As I will fucking fly to New York. No, no, right, right. It's a one one nine hundred four nine zero three. Fucking shut! Stop! <laughs> There's no way any of that was close. <laughs> they can't find out about my illegitimate business, Cazard. It's 1-800-CALL-COLLECT. I'm not paying the IRS, goddammit. <laughs> I also got Ben's number since he figured we'd be doing a lot more team projects in photography class. It's 1-800-SPANK-ME. <laughs> no, no, that's my, that's, that that's my side <laughs> business. My eyes roll over the past messages from my new friends. I become so engrossed rereading them that I nearly missed the announcement of my stop. I scramble to get off the metro, the closing doors just catching my jacket and forcing me to yank it out before I'm dragged down the tracks. Oh no, not the suede. Not gonna let that bring my mood down though. It's Friday, meaning after today comes the weekend. Friday? Yes. Somebody else say Friday. Friday? Gotta get down on Friday. Yes, thank you. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend. Weekend. It's a quick walk from the station, and I can see the school enter my field of view now. One of Rebecca Black's greatest decisions in her life is whether or not she should sit in the front or the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know I can't remember which seat did she take. Don't know. <laughs> <Take the front. laughs> This school, <laughs> this school looks completely barren. That song is, is a fucking treasure. Closed? You know, she has a new song. Oh, does she? Yeah, what it, is it? It's, it's actually sound... not completely terrible. Well, is it made it's... by like that same company that makes songs for you if you pay them enough money? Or is I... it like she's trying to make it as an artist? I don't know. I, I mean, that was kind of the key it. point of the first one being so bad. It was just something like that. And she was, you know like 13 yes, yes. never had singing practice. yeah she was a, yeah she was like a 13 it's like this company that if you pay them enough money they'll make a song for you you can sing it they'll do like a big musical video production 
Yeah. And she was just she was just a girl with money, and she made that song, and it turned into a fucking national icon. It it, it went outside the intended audience. <laughs> I hear Weird. legends that's already being put in the national archives. Sorry, I just want to say that video has 169 million views. <laughs> Blessed. <laughs> and how many dislikes? Uh, you can't see those anymore. If you get, you, you can download a, an extension you, for you, that. YouTube doesn't want anyone's feelings hurt. I work tomorrow. Got to head out. All right, see ya, adept. We should we should get to the end of the demo tonight. Yeah, we still got we still got another good hour in us, I think. I look around. Sorry, what video has 169 million views. Uh, Friday. What even was oh, her yeah. attended audience? Probably family and friends. Maybe her class. Definitely. Yeah, maybe uh, class, you, maybe I mean, other teenage they basically, girls. It was basically just a kid with a lot, of, with parents with a lot of money, paid a uh, pop music producer to give her a goddamn music video yeah. with a high production value. <laughs> I really like there's these uh, covers of it that make it sound like it's actually sung by professional artists, and like, it's like they make it sound good. There's, you know, you know most... back in the day that you could go to the mall and make a music video. This is that, but on steroids. <laughs> You know what the most uh, viewed video on on YouTube is? Uh, shit, I used to know this. Uh, is it not David after is, is, it, is, it, is it still Smosh? Is it a Smosh video? No. Damn. Is it? It used to be Smosh's Pokemon cover, like when it's Smosh not did David Pokemon after thing. Dentist, is it? No, it's nothing even remotely. It is a song. I will say that. Uh, is it a? Is it Despacito? Thing? Is it a good no. song? Gognum style? Uh, De Despacito was the most viewed song. I viewed video at one point. Um, Ooh, no, it is Rain. Baby Shark. Song. Baby Shark? Oh, right, because yeah. yeah. you two uh, kids shark would get it on. Can you even begin to guess how many views Baby Shark has? Holy three, fucking 3.7 billion, I'm going to guess. You're not even close, Not Kevin. even close. I, I, I spoiled myself. 20, 24 billion. Uh, uh, too high. So, you, you it, went so over. Scruffy, believe it or not, it's higher. Fifteen? It's you're the closest. Enough. It's you're, fourteen. You're fourteen, billion. yeah. Oh. So <laughs> there is almost two views for every person on the planet. Yeah. See that? That's it's... what YouTube kids does. These things get stuck on loops, left <laughs> on for people for for kids with iPads. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking... What the fuck? Baby shark do 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 Baby shark do 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 I mean, it is her. I mean, the nationals probably also helped, too. <laughs> I, look, I look around I don't know and... if you guys are aware of that, but the, the nationals, uh, the, the nationals, the baseball team, uh, um, one oh, of yeah, the players the one, had that uh, as yeah, a walk-up song. Out to that. <laughs> anyway. I look around at some of the small stores that surround the school, the ones that are usually staffed by student workers. What a ritzy school. It, they're also empty. One of them has lights on, but it just looks like the manager's looking over some paperwork inside. I don't recall any announcement about a holiday today. And while I admit to have forgotten what day it was in the past, I'm absolutely certain it's Friday. Friday? I made sure to get down today. <laughs> So where is everyone? <laughs> Even the hall entryway to the school is barren. The door oh, probably shit. won't Did even I come open. come in on Saturday, but there's think. <sighs> yep. Hello? Oh shit, the apocalypse happened and Inko's the only survivor. Damn, Inko yeah. slipped through the school snooting. <laughs> <laughs> I dance a bit in front of the camera, watching the door. It does not respond. Hmm. It's a national holiday, idiot. You know what? Damien would know what's going on. I flip through my contacts and find Damien's number. I put the phone to my ear and pray that he picks up. After a minute or so of waiting, the dial tone cuts off and is replaced by Damien's voice. Yeah. Hey, I don't, I don't have a, I don't have an answering machine. What up, Neo? <laughs> I, I like this. This is a new thing. A cell phone, probably. Hey, Damien. <laughs> I'm at the school right now, and it looks like no one's here. You know what that's about? 
Oh, what are you... There's a brief pause on the other end of the line. Oh! He's pogging oh. again. A pogger, dude, didn't you hear? Hear what? Today's the last warm day of the season, so everyone's celebrating. Celebrating? Yeah, we're actually having a cookout at my place today. The entire fucking school. So you want to <laughs> come over? Oh, so that was a little packed. The generous but spontaneous offer causes me to hesitate for a moment to respond. Uh, thanks for the offer, Damien, but it's all right. Now, now that's a me <laughs> response right there. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to intrude on your guys' party. What? No big deal at all, dude. My folks enjoy the company, and there's gonna be plenty to eat, too. Especially if you come. <laughs> I'm gonna have <laughs> you for dinner. <laughs> Plus, Olivia's here as well, and you can eat that if you get my drift. <laughs> you can eat that if you get my drift, and I ain't talking about the gator dogs. Nah, I'm not in the mood for roast beef. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> You're like... Like how they update the conversation choreography from the demo. Yeah, this is just really neat. This is still demo? <laughs> yep. This is still demo. We're getting close to the end of the demo. We'll Jesus. reach the demo. I, the demo. Trust me, the end of the might, demo it, is coming. Stop talking it's about coming. it. Continue. I weigh my <laughs> options. It just felt like the train was like the natural end point, but goddamn. I the end of the demo options. is coming, and it's going to be great. Either go to the party, or... I could just sit, take the metro back home and sit in my room doing nothing. I do that. Watching That's my favorite I, uh, Watching my favorite streamer. I've, this is why I've intentionally set a rule for myself. Like when people offer to do things, I'm like, okay, yes, every time. Because otherwise I'll just say no. It depends on if I really have stuff or like I just some days uh, I get invited to do stuff, but I just want to break. There are days I just want to break day from people. I have a threshold for socializing, and sometimes people unfortunately call me on the day I've reached my threshold for social interactions. Inky, you still there, buddy? Yeah, still here. Just was uh, clear to my schedule. Inky, Blinky, Pinky, and Sue. Y you sure it wouldn't be an issue? Of course not, amigo. A friend of mine is a friend of the family. I'll tell you one exception, though. If free food is involved, I take the offer. <laughs> mm -hmm. no, 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 my socializing threshold can always be pushed back if free food is involved. The demo is pretty long. Yeah, we, we know the demo is long because I just enjoy the fact every time I see someone talk about it being six hours and then reference my the VOD we did. I, I love that was only... if I, it became just this core outlook of the game or impression a lot of all right got. all right stay humble Kazars. <laughs> i know you're famous in south america now but please remember the little people down here with you all right i remember all the little people i have to step over to get <laughs> higher exactly where would you be without your stepping stones <laughs> well all right then Sorry, I was responding to an offer to go to a clan meeting. <laughs> nice, I'll text you the address. See you soon, compadre. Excuse me? Oh, cool, we're going to a clan meeting. I'll get my robe. And in the chat, since Hankel said he'll say yes to everything. With that, the call ends. Did you ever see that movie, by the way? Yes, man. Uh, yes. I like that movie. Which movie is that? Yeah, it's a really good movie. The Jim Carrey movie uh, that's not Very liar. Underrated. liar. Oh, okay, because I was thinking, what, you uh, mean Liar Liar? It's basically, um, he goes to a seminar, and he's the guy, he takes the message that he should say yes to everything. <laughs> Seriously. And early on, he becomes very convinced that he's been cursed, that if he ever says no, things bad things will happen. And so he takes it to ridiculously intense extremes. <laughs> Including, like, he works at a bank as a loan off, as like a <laughs> loan guy. This. So he starts yeah. giving out every loan that he is asked to give. 
<laughs> and the fucked up part is like but, it works. Yeah, because it's like they're micro loans, but people are so happy they got it, they're just going out of their way to pay it back. <laughs> With that, the call ends, and not a few seconds later than that, I get a text notification. D man is typing. Six one oh, one nine three Triton Road. I can't believe Damien just doxed himself live on stream. <laughs> oh my god, does he know? Go the law. Oh, you should read this ankle. No, it's actually a little hard. Yeah, it's a little hard on the. It, it's still like the, to, to let you know. Steam has been great. Uh, uh, not Steam. Oh uh, yeah, Discord no, it's has been, been good. It's just the, yeah, Discord this text is smaller. Yeah, the Discord dialogue has been perfect tonight. We haven't had to switch over to Twitch once, but this particular bit is a little. Yeah, what if I what if I bump yeah, it to seven twenty? No, it's just that? it's fine on the stream. Just no, yeah, yeah, what yeah, it, I open. Don't it. fuck with anything because it hasn't you know done the the blocky thing once this entire stream. Oh, I just, I just upped it to four twenty. I just upped it to seven twenty. All right, why well, would you do that? It's fine. Why now. would you do well, this? Let's try it. Let's see if it holds. Because <laughs> it's the actually pretty good right now. The neighborhood doesn't. Go the long way around. The neighborhood doesn't chain like his dog. Well, the go neighbor, the long way around. Go the, the long way around. Doesn't... The neighbor doesn't chain his dog. This is why we use punctuation. <laughs> Do you think Damien knows what punctuation is? Fair enough. I copy and paste the address on my Google Maps and <laughs> Google. Huh? Looks like Damien lives pretty close to the school. He should have mentioned I mean, that he before. He does yeah. say frequently that is the only reason he goes there. <laughs> this will be important later. Of course, it's a little longer than taking Damien's instructions. But I'm not about to try out running a loose dog with my physique. Well, yeah, better... man, your body ain't that bad, bud. Well, better make my way over then. Well, I mean, it, we saw how he did in gym. It wasn't well. Also depends well, I mean... on the dog. We know he's not a runner, we'll tell you that much. 61189, 61191. Ah, uh, here it is, 61193. Which, as, uh, again, a comment on the demo VOD, I think is a reference to Jurassic Park's release date, if I remember uh, correct. June 11th, 1993, Jurassic Park. There was something about the address that was a Jurassic Park reference. Uh, it was in 1993. And it was released on June 11th in the United States. It was actually released, it got its a world release two days earlier, June 9th, in the Uptown Theater. But yes, June 11th, 1993 is the release date of Jurassic Park. Oh, there we go. Stream has been chopped because of the phone. Ah, oh, sorry to hear Callard. Yeah, the, the, street, the VODs are always smooth. The house looks standard for a house in this neck of the woods or neighborhood. It's a one-story place, but it looks pretty spacious. Definitely a family house. I walk up the stone path to the front door and ring the doorbell. Oh god, not this specific loud guitar song, How's It Man Should Always Hurt My Ears, whether it's in-game or on stream. Ah, is it really that loud? Or is it just Very the... generic. I think it sounds nice. I think it sounds very smooth. Is I think that sort of what... I think you, well, I it, thought he was talking about the actual volume. I mean, okay, it sounds no, okay on my side, too, yeah, it's I would got, say. It's got a choir after the, I guess the intro just comes in hard. The grocery bag wrapped around my fingers is starting to chafe a bit. I could have just come right away, but I felt bad coming over empty-handed, so I got something for Absolutely. the party. Absolute great guest right there. A simple salad bowl from one of the local stores on the way over. Maybe not that. <laughs> Doesn't seem like much, but as my mom taught me, it's courteous to come to a party with something besides yourself. A bag of chips would have been better. Actually, or nachos. Nachos is always good. I realize how ill-prepared I look for an end-of-summer celebration. With Damien mentioning a pool, everyone else must either be wearing casual clothes or swimwear. Meanwhile, here I am looking overly formal. You have a suede jacket on and sunglasses. Yeah, overly would, formal. Formal. Not what I would call formal. Well, you just Black don't know fashion. What I'd call formal. Not like I could have thought to bring swim trucks to school. I bought some while you were out. <laughs> True. Or just he go did, in your He underwear. did go to the store. Just swim in your underwear, Inko. Everyone does it. This is actually Damien's theme song. Ah, oh, yeah, it fits him. 
The door swings open and out steps Damien. Hey, go! What the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> you... Oh man, you're crazy. Oh, actually, what are you doing here? You're crazy <laughs> early. <laughs> and you've come bearing gifts. You are a very really generous like man to him. You keep yep. giving him food. <laughs> yep, you here keep I am. Food. You keep giving me food. I would both kill and die for you. We'll, we'll, we'll replace Liz for him. It's like Goku. If you keep feeding him, he'll be your friend. I didn't want to come empty-handed, so I stopped by the store and got a salad. Poor Luffy. Oh, you didn't have to, dude. This is though. You really didn't have to. You, you brought a salad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My family and I are carnivores. But thanks. So it's like not even ten, man. Fair point. Oh, uh, you didn't give me a time, so. Uh... No, no, that's my bad. You're lucky you're, I was already wearing pants. Well, since you're already here, come on in. I mean, honestly, if this was like my situation, like. If I was Damien's shoes, I'd be like, yeah, let's just play some fucking video games, bro. That's <laughs> coming in. <laughs> well, first time over at your pal's house. Don't die, I feel silly. How do you keep That's managing said, to predict? Chips, man. Everybody eats <laughs> chips. How do you keep managing to predict what they're going to do next? Well, aside from me and Shima having played this before, we, we just have a really good ability to do that with most of the visual novels we play. On accident, really. We have the gift of prophecy. We have we ha very we similar thought patterns to the people in these things. Yeah, I was thinking like we just have we we have very similar uh, narrative beats as Caveman Caveman and on things. So. Every game actually is ripping off of our lives. Damien still accepts the grocery bag and chucks it off to the side somewhere. Well, everyone's out back right now. So, we're not actually early, I guess. I don't, what? Start, like, prepping now. Can I start, like, putting the stuff out there, like the cups and stuff? He turns back, making for a sliding door on the opposite end of the house. Following after, I barely have time to take, to take in what I think is the living room and dining room. Oh, this is a Christian house. This is good. They believe in raptor Jesus here. <laughs> There's a number of toys strewn about. Foam dart guns and loose game controllers. Damien opens the glass door and gives me a small push out of the house. Unfortunately, he pushed me into the glass door. <laughs> he got the order mixed up there. I'm betting what ending you are going to get first. I mean, I've had the thought in the back of my head, we're gonna end up with ending one out of just how luck is. That's how your yeah, luck got, is. We got ending yeah, three Shima, on the first Shima try. and I got ending three on our first You were one yeah, choice don't, away don't from ending one. Yeah, and yeah, no, I reasoned it. my way through it, didn't I? Yeah, we, yeah we, we avoided it. Don't don't conflate your bad luck with us. We're great. Nothing bad ever happens to us. We're fine. <laughs> Just I don't know which way this it. is going, but I'm going to try and be sensible about it. Just because your waifu died doesn't mean ours did. We're safe. Turns out they just swapped the order. Ending one is the good one, and ending th and like ending three is the worst one. Although I do have to say that uh, my uh, argument uh, about whether or not to talk to Trish was 100. percent It was the it was the, the deciding factor, maker. and Shima was strongly against me. So I was yeah I was I was leaning against it. I was feeling very angry at the time on Anon's behalf, but I feel like the mature choice that you leaned us on to probably was a good call because that was the deciding factor. <laughs> Placing bets for ending two, so and uh, lured me definitely ending two. Oh, okay, so yeah, I feel like that sounds about right if we mix everyone. I assume when people pixels people pixel uh, said that you played a uh, early version of Snoop. Yeah, I am assuming he's referring to Kazar. Yeah, so pixel. Not us. My, I had a solo run of 
patch 3, like, roughly when it was first came out. All the way through, I've yet to upload the whole thing yet. And then, when we streamed it with all these guys, we did the uh, patch 7, you know, the full release. Anyways. Hey everyone, we've got a guest already! Come meet some hot pink raptors! <laughs> Stepping <laughs> out onto a wooden deck, I'm surprised to see the pool and yard. There is going to be at least one very attractive female raptor, I'm calling it. To oh, the, you To, made, to you the made left of decisions. me. What? Oh yeah, sorry, whatever, the Dilophosaurus? Out there? Yes. To the left of me looks is what looks to be an older, heavier set version of Damien. The guy from Jurassic I'm... Park. Oh my god. <laughs> Actually, it kind of looks like Hank Hill to me. I was thinking, yeah, oh, I thought he was a Hank oh, Hill. Oh, but he also enough. does look like uh, Wayne with, Knight. Yeah, <laughs> with the glasses. Yeah, I, was, I mean, that was decided between those two. But it also, yeah, the like... haircut is very Hank Hill, and he's also saying uh -huh. howdy. He does look like, uh, I forget I, the character. I don't know if Hank would ever wear a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> I just, I just kind of has the best Hank impression? I think I have a fairly good Hank, but let me try Whoa, 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 well, howdy there. Uh, Scruffy, you give it a try. I'll do it on the next whoa. one. Hello, sir. I'm Inko. He shifts the barbecue tongs from his right hand to his left so that he can shake my hand. Yeah, this is definitely Hank Hill. Rune? Oh, I gotta center this. <laughs> Randy Payne, but you can just call me Randy, though. I'm I'm leaning on Scruffy. Scruffy has a deeper voice. If you say so. Yeah, I think Scruffy's good for that. No, I mean, you're both, you both did a good job. Oh, well, thank you. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> All right, whoa. No, the, Scruffy's whoa was better. <laughs> whoa! I hide the grimace as we shake hands, feeling what I'm guessing is a very sticky marinade now clinging to my palm. <laughs> that white boy ain't right, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Didn't think someone would come this early. I just finished getting the good stuff all sauced up. And, and also the food. <laughs> as soon as he lets go, he focuses back on the piles of different meats heaped up next to the grill. Okay, but you know what? Hank Hill doesn't wear glasses. Yes, he, yes, does. he does. Yeah, he does. Does he? Yes. Yeah, Hank Hill wears there's, glasses. There's been like a few episodes to evolve around that. I mean, yeah, I mean, the, uh, Hank Hill oh wearing God, glasses. He does. Yeah, you got, you got, you got, what do you call that? What do you call that? The, uh, you got Mangelad into thinking he didn't. Mandelan? Mandela Mandela, yes, the Mandela effect. Meanwhile. Mangel I'm still thinking about Mangelan. But yes, the Mandela effect. Meanwhile, I grab some nearby napkins to wipe the sauce from my hand. Ooh, looks like they have an yeah, he's saucing you up so he can put you on the grill. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna taste tender, boy. Oh, what's on the menu? You. Oh no. <laughs> mm, let's see here. What the fuck? Got brisket, flanks, ribs, sirloin, tenderloin, top sirloin, bottom sirloin, rounds and shanks. Nice. That's a lot of cow. I'd be fucking stoked for this. Yeah, me too. That's the whole cow, I think. All like, marinated in like... a special mix of wet rub and dry rub seasoning. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a lot of sit, Randy. Oh, uh, me, Damien, and Soph will be doing it in shifts. If you're interested, I'll let you lend a hand, too, if the missus doesn't rope you into carrying her too much around. Sure, sounds fun. I never actually grilled before. It's not too tough, you'll see. Especially on this Char King Imperial. <laughs> Charcoal? Yeah, what are you no, talking this was about? The brand <laughs> no, 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 I've watched the show, don't you fucking try that bullshit. Yeah, it, it's That char. was the Wagner Char King Imperial. Yeah, Char as in what you get on the outside of the meat mm. with the marinade. <laughs> You're tasting the, that was the, the tasting... top of the line thing they sold at Strickland. That was the top of the, that was the you can taste the meat, Don't not you the heat. Dare question my King of the Hill, Lord, you <laughs> ingrate. 
Now that I'm here, I could finally ask Damien the question that's been on my mind. Hey Damien, so I've been curious this whole time. What exactly is this? <laughs> That'll come later. What exactly oh. is this celebration anyway? So, the Discord lagged for a second and the music stopped. I thought like this became like a dramatic moment. Like, <laughs> sudden how horror do you game. not know about this? It's Raptor Jesus' birthday. Oh yeah, I haven't told you yet. Well, you see, when... Before Damien can properly explain, a motherly voice cuts him off. Is this going to be Peggy? Uh, okay, I'm trying to think because uh, I, I was thinking since there's three members of Damien's family, you, Hazard, and Scruffy. I mean, me, Scra me Hazard, and Scruffy should do the other members of Damien's oh, family since Hinkle's yeah. done doing Damien. Uh, so between you and me, I think, uh, Hazard, do you want the mom or do you want me to take the mom? Yeah, I think I ended up doing the mom last time, so I'll take the bro I'll take the, si the brother this time. Okay. Wait, hold on. You mean I take the mom this yeah, time? Yeah, you, you, you take, take the mom. You take the mom this time. Oh, I think oh I did okay, okay. Sorry, I was good. I was Who has a better right? Bobby impression? Okay. <clears throat> That's not hey. my purse. <laughs> I mean, I trust Kazard. This is if Hank but... got the, the the firstborn he actually wanted. <laughs> Damien's. Uh, I, I honestly probably it's probably. It's so mean to Peggy. say, but it's also kind of true. Yeah. I can't. I can't do the best Peggy voice, but she also doesn't look a lot like Peggy. Just so do I'm your own voice. Do you don't sub, necessarily. Yeah. Like, if you can't do a Peggy, just do the best you can. Damien, sweetie, y'all shouldn't keep your baby brother waiting any longer. That was good. I don't know. Try doing a Sandy. That's always fun. At the mention of the younger sibling, a tiny Damien clone jumps over the deck railing and... Essie punch! Nut punch! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, why? <laughs> Man check. Why? Oh. Vanny! Yeah, she, she's pretty damn cute. Dino milf. Look, bro, it's just like the Power Raptor. Mickey sweater, oh my god. <laughs> I told you I could do it. I love it. Also, there's your Power Rangers. Yep, there it is. This is why I was not invited. <laughs> I am so sorry, Inko. Vincent, this is why I don't want you watching those violent shows. Wait, Mr. Beast shirt, Mr. Beast kit, is that really Mr. Beast logo? No, it's more of a Power Rangers thing. The younger Dino isn't listening. He's already run off to find another victim. Y'all right? No, not really. I think one popped. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm fine-ish. So you, you still got both of them down there? I don't know, I lost track of one. Out. I lost track of one. I think I'll find it later. Oh, that's okay, honey. The girl's back, right? I, I really don't know human anatomy, so I just kind of assume. What? To your peoples. Was that really acid? Ha ha ha, no, Shug. It's Chloe. It's all the way down. But here, you should wipe that off. It is, it is, it is poisonous, though. Now. I take the towel handed to me and wipe off the splotch on my pants from where Vincent had punched. Dilophosaurus Dilopos spit only gets more acidic after they reach puberty. I begin to rub the spittle away from my pants with a bit more urgency. <laughs> this okay, is so it, it was, your it chance acid, to get on the was, Damien's was... mother route. Just Damien's talk. mom has got it all going on, god damn. Six out of ten. Fuck you. That's easily an eight. Maybe, maybe she's a seven the, and a half. She's got the, the nice hair old, isn't doing her any favors. Mother five. I like the hair. It's cute. It's also, sad. she's a is she a spinosaurus? I believe she's got so. She's got spine on her back. Spinosaurus is a pretty nice dinosaur. I, I don't agree. know. It's just not doing it for me. Ugh. Pearls before swine. That's <laughs> fair. Like, I get you. It's just not for me, man. <laughs> Thankfully, he's more than me than his mother. Otherwise, he'd need a new pair of pants. Um, uh, wait, wait, hold on. Is, is that an actual thing? Randy laughs. 
So, y'all must be Damien's new friend from school? Indeed I am. Damien's mom head Damien's mom's head pops up from the side of the deck with a tired smile. Huh. Hello, ma'am. Thank you for having me. Wait, I'm confused. That's not Damien's mom? It is Damien's mom. That's what he said. Because he said the, Damien's mom. I, I, yeah, this feels like I think they should have come. This is implied. Earlier. This is all taking place on the deck. Oh. Uh -huh. Or near, or whatever. Okay. Ah, oh. oh, shucks. I didn't know we'd have guests so soon. I would have cleaned up more. Y'all can just call me Sophia, dear. Speaking of school, Damien told me you were there. Why'd you be going there today of all days? Honestly, I didn't even realize today's a holiday. Usually I mark them off on my calendar, but it must have flown over my head. <laughs> the thirsting begins. Oh, any time a new female pops up on the screen, it will begin. Uh, it's no cat guys, though, unfortunately. Certainly us dinos who celebrated. Yeah, Damien told me a bit about it, but I'm not sure I fully understand. In that case, I'd be more than glad to clue you in. Called Summer's End, as today marks the last warm day of the season. After this, fall and winter start rolling in. Ah, summer wrap-up, my favorite. Huh, interesting. Well, this will probably make me sound stupid for asking, but how can you celebrate it? Put it simply, the cold might be manageable for warm bloods, but for us reptiles, it's no bueno. Wrong! That's not how dinosaurs work! The therapies are endothermic! They're warm blooded! They wouldn't enjoy cold. Wait, really? Yeah, the dinosaurs are ancestors of birds, and they're theropods. They're warm blooded. Or so science oh. says. Obviously, there's no live dinosaurs to take a natural sample of, but most I scientists Googling... agree they would have been endothermic. I w I'm Googling where dinosaurs warm blooded, and one of the first things that popped up were, was were dinosaurs real? <laughs> <laughs> of no, course none they're of real. We're real. looking at two of them right now. Yeah, it's true. They're right there on the screen. How can you deny your own eyes? Seems to be the consensus, I, but by no means is it, I you know. I rant, I ranted right. about this during the demo. Dinosaurs are generally assumed to be, all theropods really were generally assumed to be warm blooded. It definitely looks like well, it depends on the uh, time period we're talking about. Um, Surprise, Mia isn't the one being simped it, on. Oh, we, so there, like, we had that earlier. Well, we haven't really, Late you know, she's not on screen right now, so we haven't had a at, chance. At the very at the very least, even if, whether or not they were cold-blooded or not, they were not reptiles. They're theropods. In it's a totally different yeah, type of creature. In regards to Mia, she has not been on screen enough for us to really get a good chance at it. Yeah, Mia's only had one time, scene lads. so far. <laughs> Mia only has one scene in the demo. So, we spend the last day soaking in the sun and enjoying the warm weather before it starts getting chilly. Ah, that makes sense. So it looks like a lot of them are mesothermic. Basically, sort of you know, in between. a harvest festival. Next thing you know, everyone's wearing extra layers and putting up the heat lamps. Anyone who has a thing for Trish and Naomi are destiny to like, are destined to like Mia. Yeah, because, you know, people that like oh, yes. trash will keep liking trash. Oh, I am. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking. I mean, I'm, you're the fang, guys. I, you would know. <laughs> I'm so mad I can't even formulate a fucking response, but I will. Why? He's the expert on trash waifus. He has one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know, you, you turn that around pretty well. Touche, sir. He's the expert on trash. Oh, apparently it used to be Ice Age levels of fridges back in my granddad's age, so I guess we can consider ourselves lucky. To be fair, that might make a bit more sense. Dinosaurs probably... No, no, di I Ice Ages killed dinosaurs pretty good. Yeah, but not because it was cold. The Ice Age killed dinosaurs because the Ice Age blocked out the sun, which killed the plants, and the plants I'm pretty killed... sure the cold didn't help. 
Well, I mean, the cold certainly didn't help the plants, but I'm pretty sure, like, the dinosaurs could have weathered the cold, but what well, they I couldn't mean, weather well, is the food. Well, okay, here's the thing. The carnivores, though. Well, the were already dead by the time the Ice Age happened. Here's the thing. Even with the, insulation, you will still, he will still die of hypothermia if you keep spending expe extended amounts of time in cold areas. Yeah, well, but it's like, so, it's not because the they were the size dead. of the dinosaurs definitely made the cold worse. It's it, yeah, especially well, actually, with the sun like, being blocked out, the temperature shift would be so massive. Well, actually, I mean, huge size helps with the ice age, doesn't it? That's why mammoths were so huge. That's why everything was so yeah, huge because in the they ice had age. blubber and fur. Well, yeah, because they well, had to. Pack the dinosaurs it on. are huge, but they're muscly. They don't have blubber. Yeah. You also got to remember that mammals built up to being that big. Yeah. And so you, it was also also yeah. Either you're big with blubber or you're tiny to burrow underground. Dinosaurs. It's, it's the, didn't basically have the that. whole thing is that it's not that the dinosaurs dinosaurs weren't warm-blooded or insulated it's basically their insulation became very irrelevant very quickly because it was suddenly met with you know levels it wasn't meant to counter but yes like it's all like, large yeah, creatures you can spend during that period yeah uh, you can live comfortably in 10 celsius weather now it's minus 10 have fun with that that's called climate change and it's <laughs> bad for animals <laughs> Otherwise, we'd be nothing but a couple of popsicles with our tails for sticks. The patriarch lets out a laugh that's as, as, as infectious as his son's. <laughs> <laughs> he wipes a tear from his eye and goes back to flipping the meat on the grill. Anywho, we're going to start cooking up the food, so make yourself comfortable. Thank you, sir. I, I mean, Randy. Grab a beer, put on the cowboys. While Damien's dad attends to the grill, I move to the banister overlooking the pool. It's filled with a couple aquatic toys and air-filled floaties. Man, I wish my place had a pool. Olivia's just floating face down. <laughs> well, I do have extra <laughs> jeans at home. Rooting one pair would be a huge issue. Just take your Can pants off. Just swim in your swimming in. Just swim in your boxers. That's what that, I knew a lot of people that just take their pants off and swim in their underwear. Yeah, uh, just towel it off later. On second thought, it'd be a real annoying to deal with drying off and going home. I wonder of course, how. It depends on how he's if he's wearing boxers. <laughs> I wonder how deep. Ah! Oh, hello there, Lake Monster. <laughs> Cleavage. Booby Lake Monster. I see. I see. She's oh, back to floating. I thought that was Inko was going ah, so, ah, ah. The hell are you doing here? At this point, Inko has to seem like a stalker. <laughs> what are you doing here? I was invited. Folks on our face, on our other th th things. What the heck are you doing here? I live here, moron. I know he told you that. I was <laughs> Yeah, there. but you also know Inko doesn't listen. Ah, crap. Right. Damien even told me on the way. Inko might be dumber than Anon, and I find that hilarious. <laughs> he, he, he's, he's an airhead. Curse of being bald, man. Your thoughts keep flying away. <laughs> uh, anyways... No, really, why are you here? Nobody was at school when I got there. Huh? Yeah, check the doors and everything. They announced the holiday yesterday in Homebrew. Didn't you hear it? That's what Liz said over the PA yesterday? I thought that was the school's anthem or something. Oh, fuck. Huh, no wonder everyone was staring as I saluted. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, it goes at the battle the for who's more retarded. It's, it's a tough one between these two. It, it goes at the right neck school. And neck. He, he has severe artism. I'm sorry, your son is it acoustic. Makes sense <laughs> that the gator would like to swim. Yes, of course. Yeah. 
Also, I was just I was looking this up. Uh, apparently, bipedal dinosaurs are called theropods, but uh, quadrupedic dinosaurs are called sauropods. That yeah, I was just looking that up, and I thought that was neat. I must have not been paying attention. But yeah, I asked Damien what was up. He said there's some event going on, and then he invited me. Anko really is a smooth brain. It's as smooth as his head. <laughs> his brain's so smooth, you can't insult him. It just slides right off. <laughs> Olivia sinks a bit into the water. Actually. A uh, stupid question, but... Uh... Huh? Are you really okay to swim? I am a gator. <laughs> <laughs> There's that glare again. Of course, why wouldn't I be? Uh, well, you know, wheelchair. I think she would. I think I know it's dumb, but I also think she would realize it's not coming from a place of malice. It's just ignorance with him. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, like, she's having to deal with his ignorance like I, frequently today. I didn't. Think I lost to a guy wheel, in a race. Who wheelchairs had no legs. aren't exactly. F Float worthy. Oh yeah, she has uh, floating what she... wheelchairs. Yeah, what if she has flotation devices on her uh, wheelchair? Well, she does. She's yeah. got two of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if Olivia did the same jabs as Fang did to a non Inka, would be dead or brain damaged. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, Inka wouldn't be able to take the bands. He wouldn't last with Fang. Thankfully... Fang would destroy him. Thankfully, she gets what I'm saying. Sorry. Hey, thanks for the follow, Toko, my Pico 007. Do you want me to what your Pico? Tico is Pico. That sounds naughty. <laughs> Very. She simply rolls her eyes. I like it in the water. If you catch my drift. Hmm. I kind of wish. A fucking I gator. I kind of wish I knew about all this earlier. I mean, honestly, thinking about it, like, even if her legs doesn't work, I think an alligator in real life uses its tail for locomotion yeah. in the water anyhow, so it's like, and she, her tail certainly works. And the legs will float. Yeah. I'd have brought my trunks. Actually, legs usually sink if you're not using well, I mean, them. haven't you seen a gator Here's actually me. float in the water? They're, like, vertical except for the head. There's a reason yeah. people mistake them for logs. But we gotta go with human anatomy mostly. I mean, they're gonna be a little more buoyant probably than a regular human, but the shape is still human, except yeah, like for a tail. You're, you're 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 the professional swimmer, so you tell me. But I imagine the flotation mostly comes from your center. Your lungs is what keeps yes. you afloat. Yeah, and then your legs usually just dangle and. Although gator sink, heads are known for their buoyancy, so. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like, is is it the head that's buoyant? Well, that's the only part they usually keep out of the water for yeah. reliably. Yeah, but I think it's because it just aligns with their spine. It naturally floats up along with the rest of their body. So the legs might sink, but she'll be fine. Uh, I mean, that's true of humans, too. The head floats. I mean, obviously, probably not as well as a gator. And also, boobs float. So. <laughs> yeah, also, it's yeah, she's had, like Kaz had pointed out, she has two flotation devices. Uh, that's uh, not uh, even a joke, like, legitimately. Yeah, so fat floats, have... muscle sinks. That's why yeah. breast tissue, which is more porous and light, floats. Yeah. Oh, neat. I kind of just thought that was a meme, but that's no, cool. yeah. no fat. Yeah. So if I so if I'm if I'm drowning and there's a woman nearby, I can say I'm using her as a flotation device. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. And I'll, now I finally... I'll use her to get out while she drowns. <laughs> finally, a non-creepy way to hit on women, completely <laughs> organically. No, that's <laughs> all right. Anyway. Ew, no, I'm sharing my pool with you. Wait, what, what was her? What was she responding to? I got. He uh, said he would have brought his was, trunks uh, if he had known about it. Ew, no, I'm not sharing my pool with you. What? Why not? Instead of answering <laughs> me verbally, Olivia's tail whips up some water at me like a large wave. I would like to say that the fact that she could control her tail indicates that she is indeed not paralyzed, but just has broken legs. Yeah, I mean, I think I mean, I think it, it should be brought up. It's a nervous, a you, nerve you, issue. You, I think you would have seen up. that if we did the drawing, because there's some tail swatting in that. I seem to recall it's brought up at some point in the demo that she's specifically paralyzed below the knees. 
and it's the knees that don't like everything. I, feel, in the knees I do remember us reading that somewhere or something. I think it comes up in a little bit. Yo, Inko, come check this out. Boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia takes the opportunity to slink back in the water. Sink. I think she's doing a weird version of the dead man's float. Well, yep, whatever. That's the alligator log pose. Yeah. Except upside down. No, Belly up. dead man poses face down. Yeah. Face oh, down. oh, I thought dead man poses with face the gator up. Head, it yeah, it's dead man. He's face out. down in the water. Yeah, yeah, dead man could be face up. Yeah, but you, traditionally, if you see someone body, dead in the water, they're face down. Your body naturally wants to be face down. Oh, like that's just the way that. your weight. Well, you got to remember, all the goes. organs and bones project forward on you, not yeah. backward. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. What's Damien yelling about? Yeah, Damien. Well, first, a little bro has something to say to you. Oh God, not another nut punch. Sorry for nut giving pick. you an acid punch, Inky. Oh, looks like he taught his younger sibling about my nickname, too. Ah, uh, it's alright. Uh, Finny! It, it looks like there is some crossbreeding going on to this family. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he has the spine from his mom, but the frills from his dad. Yeah. And the, uh, the little boy has the spine from his mom. Yeah, so, yeah. so crossbreeding is a thing species can do in this. Yeah. Which Does we that are, mean, I mean, what... What, what is what is Amber's human traits? What 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 traits did she pick up from Anon? The durability. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> the IQ maybe. <laughs> Vinny extends his hand for a handshake, though it's obs obscured by his sleeves. And secondly, we need a few chairs out here. We got some folding ones, but also some from the kitchen. And bring the kitchen chairs outside. Got it. Oh, well, you make do with you. You, you got to make do with what you make do. Amber is warm blooded. Oh, I guess that's a good trait to have for a dinosaur. The trait they all have. No. <laughs> well, do notice that these are specifically scaled dinosaurs without feathers. Yeah, because that's heresy. Yeah, we just saw canonically they're all cold blooded. Shima. It's I'm willing to believe mesothermic because I was actually I was reading online just now. I think I found the same article Hinko was pointing out that uh, apparently Tyrannosaurus was definitely warm blooded, but they think Stegosaurus was cold blooded. So yeah. they might be mesothermic where they yeah, lean like one way or the I other. Was saying, it definitely depends on the time period they existed. They're cheap wood, not real heavy at all. Also, I wouldn't be surprised if Stegosaurus was an evolutionary dead end. Yeah, the Stegosaurus was kind of... Uh, Oof, Rip it, Stella. Everything I hear about Stegosaurus is that it was the far less optimized Ankylosaurus. It's fucking everything. stupid. Yeah, Literally, everything. they're yeah. stupid. They have, like... They have, they have walnut brains. Yeah, they're the... Yeah. They're the... Uh, that they're... explains why Stella's into anime. Look, all I'm gonna <laughs> say is the Tyrannosaurus became a chicken. Yeah. And, it, you know, our optimize. ancestors became us. I'm just going to say, I think we won. And we turned the chickens back into Tyrannosaurus-shaped nuggets. <laughs> we returned them to their original state. We've returned them home. <laughs> They're home. Welcome home, chicken. Although sometimes I struggle to think that's actually chicken in there. God, it's I, based on chicken. I'm reminded chicken again how much I want... Product. I'm reminded again how much I want to eat a Tyrannosaurus Rex just to uh, find out if it tastes like a giant, thick chicken. Well, you can eat a woolly mammoth. Not it yet. It probably I, I, taste like shit because predators and scavengers almost always do. Yeah. Yeah, that's but, true. It was a scavenger, so. Uh, I mean, you can eat because you know they're like doing lab-grown woolly mammoth meat. Anywho, how for how for how much? Because I imagine that. I mean, must I don't be know if they're like actually selling it for eating purposes <laughs> yet, but it was something they did. Apparently, it did not taste good. Well, I mean, I figure it's like tasting an elephant. An elephant yeah, don't freezer seem like bro. it tastes good. <laughs> it's over. No, it's, not, it's over. It's Stella not the Bros. Actual, it, like mammoth from it, the Stella Bros. Completely demolished. Also, hey V4 <laughs> Changes, thanks for stopping in. Or Changos. 
after the chairs, we gotta do the table together. Mom be pissed if that got dropped. Why? It's a, I mean, it's a nice table. <laughs> what we got? Well, that's a fair point, Damien. And after everything's set, we can play something fun. Cable man? Vincent grins and bolts back toward the house. Actually, I was talking to Inko. <laughs> <laughs> Damien chuckles, and we both follow after the kid. Whoa! The table drops a few inches. We drops the few inches. We are able to lift it with a hard crash back onto the tile. I'd be worried about the cracks, but the floor is already pretty shattered around here from the years. Oh, you know it's a home. The table must actually be their gold storage, and it's just painted to look like wood. <laughs> That's the <laughs> only explanation. We catch our breaths and give our strained muscles a moment to relax. Why well, can't Livia help us? She's super strong. Why can't the control help us? Dreamcast this? controller? But, no. That looks more like a SNES controller. Yeah, I think that's a pro. Did like, yours no, have colored buttons like that? Yeah, oh, you could get ones are, like that. You guys are, there was the classic gray one, and then you had the one where it was the red, green, blue, yellow. Those look like Wiimotes to me. Though. You guys are talking about the ones on the right? No, or no, the ones on the left. Remote. Oh, okay. That looks like a SNES controller. Yeah. Mm. So okay. uh, this is clearly a Nintendo family. That looks oh, like one of those robot dogs down there next to the couch. Olivia's yeah. enjoying your time in the pool, bro. I think it's, oh, uh, it's gone. Robo. Yeah, I was going to say Robo Stegosaurus because it looks like it's got a frill on back. But no, it's probably just a dog. Why are some Stegosauruses sentient and other Stegosauruses not? <laughs> Why is Pluto on a leash? <laughs> Why are... Why are there ducks and ducktails? <laughs> but to be fair, I mean, you know, we have... There's... There's... Monkeys. In yeah, I mean, there's... I forget exactly where I saw it, but there was this one uh, image of someone making that same joke, like, no, do you have an existential crisis every time you see a monkey? <laughs> yeah, a, a little. <laughs> uh, the only thing I feel when I see a monkey is jealousy. I wish to return. I want to return. <laughs> Olivia is enjoying herself in the pool, bro. We don't want to make her. We don't want to ruin her time. Her chair thing is wheels. We could use that. Bad idea. <laughs> Damien's thinking about it. I mean, we could ask. I think it might be a bit small. Oh, <laughs> like to transport the table? Yeah, yeah, no, there's no fucking way that's gonna work. He was considering it. Ah, uh, no fair. She's gonna go to her room soon. Why can't she help? She probably can't. I mean, how the fuck is she gonna do that? <laughs> like, Vinny's too innocent. You can still, he like, get in her chair and then just. And then, and then what? How does she. While the others hold it from the other side. But then, but how does she, she move? move? Well, yeah, you put her on, on the other end and you push her. I guess Vinny could push her. Yeah. Mm. It's not like Vinny would be in the lifting. I don't think he's really there for that. Seems complicated, because, like, what if you have to walk it through a, a, a narrow, like, a door? Well, the door, the table itself is already a problem there, so. Hey, come on, not in front of any guests, yeah? Turns out the table's actually nailed down to the floor. <laughs> it's true, though. You'll know that. Come on. Vinny doesn't have diamond eyes like the rest of the dinos. They also get those in puberty, like the acid. <laughs> the Damien mini me pouts. I think I got a better grip on the table now. Let's try one more time. Okay. I'm ready. Inko, man, you really need to hit the gym. One, two... Wait. Huh? What's up? This isn't the table. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Ooh, it's probably, like, nailed down. Mom must have been talking about the plastic table in the garage, not the dining room table. <laughs> oh, he's just stupid. You're right. 
What? It's the blank face. <laughs> yeah, I just like it when it just goes completely blank. <laughs> Guess we gotta haul this thing back into the dining room, fellas. <laughs> Wow, rare <laughs> eye sighting. Great. <laughs> Holy shit, Anon has eyes. Inko. Inko, sir. Oh, Inko, yes, sorry. Copyright infringement. After, Still cursed as no, hell, though. different characters. After getting the suspiciously heavy table back inside, Damien and I carry the much lighter plastic one out the door. As I catch my breath, I notice the younger dinosaur is gone. Maybe he ran off to do something else. <laughs> He's got golden retriever brain. I like that description. Either way, I guess now... That is actually an interesting theory. That Sophia cheated on Randy with a skinny, and that's why uh, the Vinny doesn't have the diamond eyes. Oh, he doesn't... I mean, he has his father's coloring, though. Like, he wouldn't get that from a human. That's true. He's the same color as his dad and his brother. He he, yeah. he paints himself every morning. <laughs> his mom paints him so that no one finds out. They are <laughs> dedicated to this. That's why he's never allowed in the pool. <laughs> Either way, I guess now is the time to ask. Hey, Damien. Yeah. What was that about Olivia going to her room? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh. An awkward silence fills the air for a few moments. It's just... She doesn't really stick around for family events like this, is all. Regular introvert stuff, you know, it's no big deal. And your parents are okay with that? Why wouldn't they be? She's her own person. Right. She usually makes appearances for food, though. She's just like me, FRFR. <laughs> hey, speaking of food, you want to go check on the grill? Why? Oh, look <laughs> who's rolling out of her cave. <laughs> <laughs> look who's rolling out of her cave. Oh, that would be so condescending. <laughs> There's still a way was I were we discussing that phrase earlier? I yeah. Yes, yeah, exactly. Really That's why I was bringing it up. All right, I just, I've lost track of my life. There's no... <laughs> Are oh, you making chocolate pudding? It's rather late for you. We should maybe be finding a good stopping point. <laughs> There's no way the food is done by now. I know. I just like the smell. It's like Arby's free smells. Oh, all right then. Wait, let's go. I can't understand. As we make our way over to where Damien's dad is manning the grill, I catch a whiff of the spices and marinades apply to all the meat. Sophia's accompanying him, helping to place the meat on the grill. Those are coming along, Pops. You make it. You make it anyhow I like them. You know it, son. Have a look for yourselves. He steps aside and lets us gaze at the variety of barbecue set over the flames. The smell of it cooking and the symphonic sizzling sound has my mouth watering in seconds. Kazard, you're cutting in and out. Am I the only one hearing that? I'm also Am hearing I? it, but I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, a little screen. bit. Huh. It's, it's, not ever, it's not too common, but now and then you do just pop for like a second you're out hmm maybe yeah, it sounds okay yeah, right now just i thought i thought i'd point it out just in case unfortunately i, I just don't like think we're gonna be able thing. to finish this scene no we're not gonna I be able to finish we're not gonna be able to finish the demo tonight i lied but we're so close we're so close to finishing the demo because i, I kind of need to go to bed you think that would be the okay resolution plot? back down see if maybe that helps it do you think now would be a good stop, uh, a good stopping point, or do you think like there's a, there's I don't know. I mean, is it gonna? Uh, there's like two more hefty scenes. 
Well, I mean, like, does this scene particular uh, come to an end soon, or do you think it would be I good th- to I pause think so, here? Because before... we do shift off a bit, but we the can... uh, the audience got to see uh, Olivia in a bikini. I think they won tonight. I mean, I think we could have been a one piece. I thought I didn't know if it was a one piece. It, it was. A one I, thought piece. I thought it was like. A, I thought it looked like a bikini. Didn't I? I mean, I it, couldn't see the it, bottom it's, half. I think it was a one piece. I mean, we could. Luffy just starts <laughs> slowly appearing. <laughs> I mean, we could stop it here if you need to go to bed, Hinkle. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's okay. No, it's yeah, okay. It's, I it's mean, one, it's almost it's, like it's, 2 a.m. It's, yeah, it's almost people it's on almost, the East Coast. It's almost 2 o'clock for you. I'd understand. Yeah, I mean, we, we yeah. did start a little late, and then we had a lot of Final Fantasy talk. But we are we are very like we'll we'll definitely finish the demo in like the first yeah hour at first hour of next time. I was about to say mm, maybe if we really go off track, maybe it'll last longer than an hour, but probably not. I don't think even we can go that that off track. Yeah, I feel like we could definitely get it within the first hour next time. But uh, yeah, it'll also be right. good so people, uh, you know, the show up late, don't miss anything new because a lot of people have been wanting to see us do the new content. Yeah, I mean, it's a, I think there's also there's a very good scene coming up, so I think it would be good to do that uh, fresh. Yeah. It's an interesting fact, thing I, there, PV fact, Pixel. I, in fact, I had, to, if I remember correctly, I had to. The, the demo went on so long, I had to. I had to stop early for the demo because I had to go to work. Yeah, you dropped out. I finished. Yeah, so you didn't get to see like the last twenty. No, I didn't get to see the end of the demo. Of ah, okay. So there's gonna be some fun stuff for everybody. Or there I guess will be. It'll be surprises for, for everybody, except for you. Yeah. But who cares about you? Oh. We all know who the audience is here to see. <laughs> <laughs> They're here to see Olivia. Yes, exactly. All right, so thanks for stopping in, everybody. We'll continue this next Thursday. And, uh, you know, I'm just not going to say anything about my schedule any other time, because every time I say I'm going to do something, I end up not. So I'm just going to say nothing, and we'll have it be a fun surprise. Awesome. Wait, you mean, uh, is is Gator on for next Thursday? Or no, do you mean something no else? Gator is on for next Thursday, but every time I say I'm going to stream on the rest of the week, I end up not, for some reason, ends up happening. But anyways, uh, thanks for stopping in, everybody. Thanks for watching and enjoying this gator. Uh, So next Thursday, we'll see it any other day for something else. It'll be a surprise if I manage to do it. We got to to Olivia in a pool. It's a victory, everybody. (laughs) I want to hug that gator. I want to swim with that gator. Even though she'll probably eat me. (laughs) She can eat me. You can eat me. I'm okay with you. That's okay, except for you. You can eat me. And with that, uh, let's see. Uh, let's. Um, no one else is streaming Wani again. Odd. So I'll send you over. Some people to- streaming it before. I think they just finished. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they might have finished it a lot faster than we took to finish it, or ended their session. So we'll send you over to this guy uh, doing Snoot game. Ah, good. A fellow yeah. Snooter. So go go watch. It looks like he's at an ending. Buenos noches. So thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good night. See you around. Have fun. And go to enjoy some more snoot if you feel like it. Good night. Bye. Have a Bye-bye. good night, everybody. Sleep tight, everybody.